Spotify is dumb. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. I have no idea what happened there. <laughs> All right, let's start at the top here. Chunky, welcome in. Ducky, how are you doing? Frazzle, how's it going? Uh, oh, I should probably take down my screen. You don't want to see me or something, right? Nope, that's the button. Nope, okay, hold on. I don't know how to, uh, how to stream. It's been too long, two days. All right, uh, <laughs> I've got sad news today. I'm here for a distraction since I ate all the ice cream. Oh no, you never want to run out of ice cream. Okay, Ames, welcome in. Uh, Kojoy, welcome, good to see you. Uh, we'll talk about Lion King in a second. Katharina, how are you? Let's see, Onion, welcome in. 
Bunny, good to see you as well. Crafty, hello. All right. Um, <laughs> so Lion King was on my playlist on the way home, and I used the same Spotify account to play this uh, Stardew music. But for whatever reason, when I plus pressed play on the Stardew like music, like there's like a whole play button for the playlist I made, it started playing the Lion King. And <laughs> I like had to double click to get out of it, and then when the first song finished, it went back to that other playlist. I, Spotify, please, you're gonna get me demonetized. <laughs> I saw you, Onion. I only ignore you sometimes. Crafty, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back to the stack. Enjoy your. What are we at now? Second. Uh, badge and enjoy your emotes as well. We've got a few new ones. Um, we're still waiting on one. I'm a little annoyed it's not done yet, but we do have butt meat. Which is a little inside joke that happened at our game night. Alright, let's go ahead and get situated. Ooh, good thing you can't hear my back cracking. Third month? Oh, that's awesome, Crafty. I'm sorry. Enjoy for the third month. You do have the, um, what's it called? The squid kid with the sunglasses now, but I'm sure you prefer your founder badge. Butt meat got instantly approved, Onion. I don't know why that happens sometimes. It just like instantly went through as an emote. I maybe it's because it's similar enough to the bug meat thing. Also, by the way, I wanted to mention this. This is the worst latte I've ever had, and I'm still finishing it. It just tastes like hot milk. They like forgot the important stuff. I don't even mind hot milk that much, but I paid five dollars for it. <laughs> Perfect use of the emote, Onion. <laughs> adorable Sapling, welcome in! Alright, so everybody, Adorable Sapling is um, doing, what's the word, captions on all of my YouTube videos. Uh, still working on it, but it's very awesome that we're going to get that now. So give Adorable Sapling some love. They are now captions on the Lucky Minds Day video. And we're going to try and work backwards to get the rest of them as well. They knew it was great. Alright, what day is it? It's Wednesday. We should probably start playing Stardew, huh? Or just switch the uh, thing to just talking otherwise. Oops. Ooh, it's Coconut Day. Really don't need this. I'm hoping my voice is gonna last through stream. Um, I did a lot of loud talking today. I won't call it yelling, but it basically was. It was very hard to get the class to pay attention today. But I forced them to learn about space. I forced them. And I think it was pretty successful. They seemed to get a good grasp of it by the end of the hours. Even bad coffee is still coffee. Well, it's tea but they seem to forgot the tea part. It's just milk. <laughs> um, I mean, Onion, if you want to try that, that's perfectly fine, but I don't think that's necessary. I can't imagine I get... Maybe, like, far into the future if I start actually getting enough viewers on my YouTube to justify it. I think English captions are fine for the moment, though. Thank you for the offer, though. That is very interesting. Ninety-nine coconuts. So how is everyone doing today? Today actually felt pretty good for me, despite the yelling. I actually felt, like, pretty accomplished at teaching today. Like, I feel like my students actually learned things. They were interested in asking questions. Ooh. Not often that that gets to happen. Um, the Omni prediction might not go terribly well <laughs> at this point. I can predict how many coconuts I'm, I'm going to get, but I can already tell you what the number is. <laughs> Better get in advance before Onion gets famous. Yeah. Gotta watch out. I'm gonna become famous on the spite. You know what? That's fair. 
You deserve fame. I feel like that's a very backhanded compliment to tell someone sometimes. <laughs> uh, we got to the end of the hallway last time, right? Uh, what hallway do you mean, Chunky? I'm not sure what you're referring to. I see two golden coconuts right now, so that seems pretty good. I think there's another one up there, too, if I remember correctly. Oh, yes, yes, sorry, yeah, the edge of the sewer. Yep, yeah, we managed to fill that up. I don't recall how many there'll be. What's actually. Oh, okay, I guess we're gonna eat the spicy eel. I meant to eat this. <laughs> I forgot you were doing that, Onion. That's that's an impressive amount of dedication for sure. You can feel free to do so. I'll watch it. <laughs> Katharina, my day was great. I went hiking in the morning. Oh my goodness, that sounds so nice right now. In the early evening, it was raining heavily and hailed. Oh, wow. Yeah, we got a little bit of rain today, but um, definitely no hail. That's uh, pretty intense, actually. But that's awesome. I want to. I want to go for a walk soon. <laughs> it's been so nice out lately. Today, especially, is like it's like seventy-seven degrees and like a breeze. Perfect weather. Oh, you're still considering working on onion. It seems like it would be tedious, but um, I I can't really be a person that complains about tedious things, can I? Something, something, glass houses and stones. A lightning and stuff because of the heat. Yeah, when it warms up, the storms brew pretty quick. For sure. We're doing a lot of fishing today. We're not going to get out of here until like 2 o'clock. I might be watching in class. I can't hear. I don't want to miss the geode space stories. Oh, we're not going to get there today, Strawberry. I don't know if you can hear me at the moment, but um, we might get to it in two streams, is my guess. It's almost too hot here. Yeah, I can't handle it. Yeah, 30 degrees is like almost 90 degrees in Fahrenheit, I think. And yeah, I, I don't like anything over 80 degrees Fahrenheit. It's just too much for me. <laughs> hundred chicken challenge. I assume it's exactly what it sounds like, Bunny. It's just getting a hundred chickens, yeah. Which I believe uh, Lee is doing. Lee is a other another Stardew streamer. Goes by a twenty-something loser, I believe. Uh, she has been streaming, getting one hundred of every animal in Stardew. Yeah, it's definitely not going to happen today. <laughs> I don't think it'll happen Saturday, unfortunately, either. It's like, we're gonna try and get in position today, I think. Oh, we got three. That's awesome. Let's see if the day finishes before we can get over there. <laughs> it just might at this rate. Hey, smarts. Welcome in. Uh, today, well, you can see right now we're getting carp and largemouth bass. <laughs> so that's a good start, at least. Um... Oh, there's four golden coconuts. That might be the first time we've ever gotten four before. That's a good start to the day. Um, typically, on a, any given day, it's like just the items you see at the bottom of the screen. I almost pointed like with my finger, but it's like over there. <laughs> it's hard to point on screen here. Here, it's down. these items down here. I put the ones that I'm like mostly focused on right now. But really, I'm trying to get, like, a whole bunch at the same time. It's easier for me to work when I'm, like, doing everything at once. At least for this challenge. So at the immediate moment, I'm getting carp and coconuts. Zach, welcome in. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. I saw your addition to the algo lore. Might be a little too in-depth for me to follow, but I'm glad you're working on it. Water, or I, 
Do you want me to call joyous water or joyous or water or joy? Joy might be better, huh? I realized yesterday or last stream I was like fumbling between the two haphazardly. So if you have one you prefer, please let me know. <laughs> Four golden coconuts and a whole bunch of regular coconuts. I don't really care. I'm going to go with joy if that's okay with you. That's probably going to be easiest for me to remember. Oh, Atmos is doing it. That's awesome. <laughs> now that I know the truth, I can talk about it, huh? Oh man, it's been that long, huh, Crafty? Well, we're, we're working through the years pretty fast. I did some rough math yesterday, and I worked out that every five weeks or so, we should finish a year. If I'm not cheating, uh, I'm sorry, if I'm not like taking a stream, I don't know why I said cheating, if I'm not like taking a stream off or something. So every five weeks or so, we should finish a year. Wait, what's going on here? 276, 27, what? That's actually pretty insane. That's gotta represent something, right? There's like no way that you both have the same last three digits completely by <laughs> uh, I considered it smarts after I saw you asking um, I'm still thinking about it we might do something like that actually onion that would be uh, your prerogative right <laughs> why don't you go ahead onion and add an LFG channel I think that's a good idea do you know what um, LFG means looking for group it's like if people are looking to play games with someone else, like I might even jump in there in, if someone wants to play Rocket League or something like that on an off day. I think that would be a good thing to have. Zach, if there's an algo who's completed the challenge, I don't think they've done anything but play Stardew for the last five years. <laughs> it was my old Wi-Fi password. Okay, well that seems <laughs> like it's probably not the same thing Ducky had. <laughs> Seems unlikely. Error, welcome in. I hope you're having a wonderful day. How's work been? Yeah, just like a text channel. Um, maybe put it in the gaming section. Like under the game night section. I don't know. And then people can use the game night video. I mean the game night um, voice chat to talk. Hey Melly, welcome in. We're doing a challenge run that takes a long time where I'm trying to collect 999 of every stackable item in the game. Uh, so it requires a lot of different things, but I do have an FAQ if you're interested in some of the questions. Um, it's exclamation mark FAQ in chat there. And there's a bunch of different little questions I answer on there. But if you have any questions you'd like to ask, feel free to ask in chat and I will do my absolute best to answer them. But why? That's a good question. Uh, I'd answer it in the FAQ, but basically it's because I enjoy it. Very relaxing, just kind of fun to hang out with a bunch of people and collect coconuts. <laughs> Whoops. So many Omnis. <laughs> I mean, every 10 coconuts is one golden coconut, so these add up very quickly. 290 Statues of Endless Fortune so far. Yeah, not quite since Stardew came out. It's probably been closer to five years. I think it was about a year after Stardew came out that I started this challenge. I want to play Rocket League. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, how many IRLs? So yeah, probably around five years. It hasn't been like constant. Now that I started the streaming, I'm playing a lot more than I used to. It's been kind of like off and on. There was at least twice where there was a six month period when I did not play at all. So if you think about that, it's really, I've only been doing it for four years. <laughs> but yeah, kind of off and on since the game came out basically. Yeah, I feel like I missed some chats here. There isn't a T-set in their universe. <laughs> Destro, hello! I've been following along on YouTube for a little bit. This is the first time I made it to a stream. Such a fun challenge. I love it. Awesome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Oh, let me give it a little bit of a stretch here. 
So awesome to have you here. Okay, let's drop off these coconuts. Bananas. Oops, wrong one. No, up. Oh. Sorry for chest noises. I try to keep them to a minimum. <laughs> and I haven't played Borderlands 3 in so long, error. Oh, sorry to hear that about work. I was wondering why you just said hell in chat. I forgot I asked. Ah, uh, I'm sorry to hear about that error. Doubters are losing. Wait, who? there's no bets going on right now, is there? Um, I also do that, Zach, so I think Onion already knows that I'm not. You like the whiteboard message? Oh, man. It's so hard to see it, isn't it? Here, let's go full screen real quick so it's a little bit easier for everyone to see. Um, if anyone's curious, whoop, I did forget the T. <laughs> so I kind of had to put the T in there. I definitely speak English and have spoken English my whole life, but, you know, sometimes... Let's not talk about it too much. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna head to the island, I believe? Wednesday? Yeah, we can go to the island first. Hello, Rekarai. Is that how you say that? I apologize if it's not. Uh, the challenge is I'm attempting to collect 999 of every stackable item in the game. So everything from pink cakes to staircases. I don't have a whole lot in my inventory right now. see here nothing fun here you have another shift fifth one in a row i thought you were supposed to have like three days on two days off sort of thing are they just busy right now and calling you in is nightbot having a little time missing whoops i really oh, suck crazy. at this Melting Candle Wax, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Hope you're having a great day so far. Oh, you have to go overtime. Dang, air. I'm sorry to hear that. Give me this ginger. How do I keep missing it? I think there is a bit of a, um, a cooldown on it, Onion, but it shouldn't be that long. I set it to be like 10, like 20 seconds or something. Welcome in, Candle Wax. No, uh, no sparklies in the water, unfortunately. Down over to the farm. Because I wasn't on one shift because there wasn't work two weeks ago. Oh, I see. So it kind of pushed two weeks together, huh? Right next to each other. That's my best assumption from what you're saying. Uh, no coconut. It gets stuck on bushes, apparently. you think after nearly 2,000 hours in this game, I would know how to path, but... Okay, um, we're gonna cut these down, I think. I need 500 more channel points. No! Oh good, none of them fell in. Okay. I was like, why did I open my inventory? I had a reason for it. <laughs> I wanted to switch rings. I would love to learn sign language. That seems like it would be really fun to have that skill set. Fun slash, like, very interesting. I'm, I feel like I'm really bad at learning languages. It's just, like, my personality and how I learn things. And I, I feel like sign language would not be an exception. I'm also really bad with my hands. I feel like that would be a detriment there.
French was a bad choice. We're not bombing this, Zach. Um, when you bomb it, you don't get the seed drops. So you don't get the mahogany seeds, which we need those to plant more. I'd like to bomb them because it's a lot more fun, but... Oh, what am I doing? This is so much better. Why have I not done this my whole life? Walk in a straight line. Well, it's not often at this stage of the game that I run out of energy twice in one day. That is a, an a, impressive amount of workload, for sure. <laughs> please don't hate on other languages in chat, please. <laughs> that seems like it's not a great idea. Your shift starts in eight hours. Oh man. Air, if you're already tired, you should probably get some sleep. Ooh. Obviously do whatever you think is best for you, but I don't know. If I don't get at least seven hours of sleep, I don't function the next day. It never used to be this way, but um, I guess that's what growing up does to you. Oh, so you basically just woke up. Wow. That's going to be annoying tomorrow. Wait, you woke up like 10 hours ago. Yeah, that's very annoying because then you'll be really tired right by the time you start work. Ooh. Maybe you can try to take like a, a two hour nap right before work. I don't know how your sleep cycles work, but like that might help. <laughs> I just realized hardwood isn't on my currently working on list, and I really feel like it should be. Don't ban people, Onion. Well, I mean, ban people that deserve to be banned, but <laughs> Ducky does not deserve to be banned. Ooh, let me get some water. Well, it looks, at least you got some good sleep there, Error. That's good to hear, at least. I do need a longer, currently working on bar. Well, maybe we'll make it longer when we finish our follower goal. <laughs> I got streamer protection. <sighs> Alright. So, I don't think we have much time to do anything else today. But, a whole stack of uh, hardwood's pretty good. We'll probably be able to finish this this year. Maybe. It'll be close. It still won't be enough, but it'll make me feel good. Alright. Man, we've got so many multilinguals in the chat. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> I can't imagine learning another language and actually being good with it. I already struggle enough with English. Okay, let's see here. Exactly. Ducky. <laughs> I'm so impressed with everyone in the chat right now. I have zero clue how you all do it.
Wow, 11 We Love Onions versus... You know, I bet a few people voted for you, Onion, because they just like the taste of onions, but, you know, I'm sure I'm sure some of it at least was deserved, right? <laughs> I missed the poll entirely. I would have voted for you, Onion. Probably. I guess we can never know, since I didn't vote. Alt accounts, yes. <laughs> I really don't need to do this, so I probably shouldn't, actually. Yeah. This is a waste of my time. <laughs> We've already got a busy day today. I'll put this away, I guess. Technically, I don't think I'm going to need it, but it feels weird to throw out something I need for a stack. Error, that's actually very funny. <laughs> oh, we could do an Omni prediction today if everyone wants it. I'm gonna have to say, just staring at it right now, it does not look super good for Omnis. We'll see though. Oh, this, this looks a little better for it. Some very fast paced music for uh, what really amounts to just going around and collecting stuff from fish ponds. <laughs> gambling time! Alright, so I think there's a few new people in chat. We like to gamble on the amount of Omnis we get. Just so you're all aware, it's a 1 in 4 chance of getting an Omni. So realistically, there's only a 1 in 4 chance Omnis will win. Right now it's in second though, which isn't too bad. So these are the first 99. There's still approximately 200 more to go. So, with that, it's still anyone's game. Any one of them can win. So, when you're predicting on Omnis, it is a 1 in 4 chance that you win. Just so you're aware. <laughs> if you have channel points to bet. <laughs> Alright, good stretch. Let's see how we're looking right now. I forgot to check my fish. You know, it really feels like I get more than this when I'm sitting there fishing them all up. I tried to fish up the Avalil. Avalil. I feel like I just... I feel like Onion just threw a comment in there. Okay. I tried to fish up the Lava Eel and I've only gotten trash for the whole day. Ooh, yeah. That happens sometimes, unfortunately. Sorry to hear that, bunny. I think you can only... You have a minimum of 10, bunny. So you probably voted with 10 on accident. You should be able to change it, though. I'm waiting a second here, because um, I don't want to spoil the uh, gamble. Because we're going there next. I guess we can head down here, though. Well... Now you can't change it. <laughs> That's the limit right there. Oh man, my voice is already going. I'm going to try and speak a little quieter. Maybe just like a, a lower tone of voice so it doesn't ruin my voice. <laughs> I did talk very loud today for teaching, so... If my voice does sound a little hoarse, that's why. Oh man, Chunky is a doubter for once. Well, we'll see. You might get rewarded because it looks like um, currently it's still in second. Its position hasn't changed much. It's only down by three. I'll spend double next time to make up for it. <laughs> that sounds like a very gambler's mentality right there. Nope. 
reset day. I don't think it changes when you reset. I'm pretty sure these are seeded to the day. And Omni's won. That's what you get, Chunky. That's what you get. <laughs> they pulled ahead to win it. It was very close. Victory for the believers. Looks like error and joyous at least. Or joy. <laughs> you heard it here first. Everyone pick the opposite of what Frazzle picks from now on. Can never be a doubter. Seems like it's worked out for you for the most part so far. We're getting pretty lucky on the Omnis. Oh, mainstream around the set. All right, let's go get sneakers. One second. Oh, my voice sounds so much different when I take off my headphones. Come on, sneakers. <laughs> I like how you immediately use the points you won to bring sneakers out here. There we go, sneakers. Positioned well, you're not going to fall. Very good. <laughs> Main goal. Keep sneakers out as much as possible. I forgot to change the um the thing, but um let's go here. Set a countdown timer for 30 minutes. Okay. So sneakers will be here for 30 minutes unless someone adds on to sneakers rain. Next grind is for doggo visit. Perfect. At least the points didn't go back into gambling. Yeah, it's being, uh, Aries being very frugal with their points. Absolutely. All right, it's time for gem talk, everybody. Sneakers is here. <laughs> and this is a pretty fun one, I think. Ooh. I don't know if I can think of an answer to this, but I think I'll try. Um, uh, strike through. Okay, if you had to make everyone in the world read one book, what book would it be and why? If you had to make everyone in the world read a book, what book would it be and why? You didn't notice him in my head, Frazzle. It's amazing. He, he belongs there, you know? All right, I'm trying to think of which book I'd want. Um, It's honestly a very hard question. Because it's got to, like... I, I'm going to assume it was, like, translated into every language, right? So <laughs> you don't have to deal with that problem. There are a lot of good books. So you got to pick one, though. You know, I think I would pick The Giver. I really enjoy The Giver's me message. It's also, like, readable for everyone of every age, pretty much. So that probably helps a bit with that. It's also just a good book. It's pretty short, you know? I'm not going to waste everyone's time. <laughs> I really enjoy the message, and I think it would resonate with a lot of people that probably haven't read it before. The Book of... Sorry, how many zeros is that? Is that 1 million? Looks like 10 million? 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Yeah, 10 million different numbers. Put commas in your numbers, dang it. <laughs> Any traumatic book? Why would you want to do that, Zach? Ooh, we have a train. I can hear it all the way from the desert, which is kind of crazy. I don't read much. Well, you'd be forced to read in this scenario. <laughs> Captain Underpants. Ooh. Yeah, that'd be... At least it'd be very entertaining, I feel, for sure. The children's book, Yellow Blackbird Spider. It's a book that ends with one of the biggest anime betrayals of all time. <laughs> okay, I like that. That's a cool idea, Ducky. What's the most boring book? Why is everyone trying to be mean to everyone? <laughs> I want more Stardew Valley updates. That's reasonable, I think. I don't know if Concerned Ape is planning on releasing another big one. 
Certainly nothing as big as 1.5 ever again, he said. I think after um, Haunted Chocketeer is out, he might release another small one with some quality of life updates. I think he mentioned something like that. Ooh, with Restroll. Yes. Oh, what, did I say that wrong? I put an R in there. Thestral. I really enjoyed the Martian. I liked, um... I like Project Hail Mary even better. I don't know if you've read that. You probably have if you like the Martian. But I would highly recommend that one. I would not recommend Hail Mary to everyone in the world, though. The Martian is a little bit more down to earth for sure. Uh, pun not intended, but it's a pretty good one. Uh, Project Hail Mary involves a lot more like heavy science. And I'd recommend it to anyone who really likes like space science, but I don't know if I could recommend it to everyone in the world. Praise RNG. Thank you, Ames, for the blessed RNG. Yeah, he's working on Haunted Chocolatier at the moment. I'll go all quit. What? Uh, hold on, hold on. That or Six of Crows, because it's just so good. My eyes actually went over your message, Onion. I have no idea how I keep doing this. I apologize. <laughs> that was not intentional, I swear. <laughs> I think it's like the mod tag. Like, my eyes are just like, oh, Onion's just doing mod stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna ignore it. <laughs> gonna beat your PB on a Rubik's Cube. Oh, good luck. Man. Yeah, that's those puzzle things. Like, I've talked before, my hand dexterity is not very good. So, I have no shot of a Rubik's Cube. Even if I was, like, knew the pattern and everything, I'm just not good with my hands. <laughs> uh, let's see. The Bee's Knees. Anyone read Seven Eves? Seven Eves? Is that how you say that? Seven Eves. I don't even think I've heard of that before, Bee's Knees. I sent full, four whole messages. My eye, they just, like, glazed over. I don't know what happened, Tucky. I apologize. Sorry, onion. <laughs> onion eraser. <laughs> eraser. Dang it. <laughs> one minute. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I've got nothing on that. I've never solved one in my life, I don't think. I imagine I could if I bothered to learn the pattern, but I would be way too slow. Smitty, welcome in. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Seven Eves. Very heavy science space fiction. Ooh, I've been looking for something like that. I might have to look into that. Seven Eves, you said? Let's go ahead. I'll add it to my list with um, the three body problem. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, didn't even know those rocks were down there. They're invisible. Trying to read chat. <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> Onion, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know you're not Ducky. For some reason, that was what came to my mind. Ooh, you watched my update. Did you like it? I'm going to try and be a little more condensed uh, at the end of this year, which is coming up soon. That one, I feel like, went a little too long. Come on. Should be better at killing things by now, you'd think. Why are you so offended to be ducky? Yeah, Onion. What's wrong with being ducky? You've watched it like five times now. Oh, wow. Ooh, I'll try to get you some more video variety. I'm glad you like it that much, though. That's... It means a lot, honestly. I'm... I feel like I shouldn't say I'm surprised, because that feels bad, but... I'll just say I'm glad that you like it so much. That's amazing. I feel like I'm off here. Did I miss something? Oh, I did. Dang it. No, we're fixing this. I cannot let this stand. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I did not fix that sound. <laughs> Momo Chan Jones. Why did Adelaide cross the road to say hello from the other side? <laughs> it's a pretty good joke. Welcome in, Momo Chan Jones. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. I'm trying to think there was another Ad Adele joke. I can't remember it well enough to say it that I've heard before though. Thank you for that bit of humor. All right, hold on. If you like sci-fi space things, I would recommend the Expanse series. I have watched the Expanse. I have not read it. I might have to read it because I'm a little upset <laughs> that they decided to end it so early. Um, On a cliffhanger too, like, I guess it's not like directly a cliffhanger, but I, I guess I wrapped up most of the stuff. Yeah, I really enjoyed the show. I get hyper focused on things. Ooh, sorry, I want to make progress here real quick. <laughs> Frazzle, one second. Okay. I get hyper focused on things. Stardew is that right now. Okay, yeah. Well, I'm glad that you've decided to focus your Stardew here. <laughs> That's very awesome. Thank you. Hardwood is is too important. Yeah, it's very important. You know, I spend a lot of time doing this, right? <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I should, I should have my extra speed boost here. You gotta sing the Adele joke. Why did Adele cross the road? Hello from the other side. I can't sing. I don't know why you're making me do this. <laughs> All right, let's catch up on chat real quick. Want to see actual disrespect? Bans you. <laughs> Onion, don't abuse your powers. At least it's not M pandas. <laughs> I've not watched it yet, but the books are addicting. I've read each within 36 hours. Oh, man. Uh, did it end, Katharina? Is it at the end? Or is it still going? Because I'm not going to start it unless it's finished. <laughs> I'm getting really tired of waiting for series. Not to say, like, it's a bad thing necessarily, but I want if I want to read something, I want it to be done. <laughs> I have way too many series where it's just like, I'm just waiting for the next one to come out. Mr. Streamer, do you prefer fettuccine or linguine to eat at rural breweries? Um, I think you were trying to throw me off with like words there, but I think I got all of them. You can't beat me with Italian words. <laughs> next update, he makes it so you can buy hardwood. That would be upsetting. I have a feeling he would not do that, though, because uh, the game seems kind of... Whoops, is this? Yeah. The game seems kind of based around the fact right now that you can... You have to farm the hardwood that you need. If it was just purchasable, it would, it would lose a huge aspect of the game. Let's walk faster. Nine books and it's finished. Are you finished with it? Or are you still going? Yes, I was impressed. I don't think I've ever had trouble with Italian words, really. I don't know why, but... <laughs> I think they're very phonetic. I understand. I'm losing hope that the Song of Ice and Fire will be finished. I have this feeling he will finish Winds of Winter, but I have no hope for A Dream of Spring. Like, negative hope for A Dream of Spring. I feel like win Winds of Winter, since it's in a partial state, will get finished eventually. I'm done with Italian words. Dark side cookies. Oh, sorry, we're... <laughs> Slothy, welcome in. Oh, welcome. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far today. Um, Onion, could you, could you give Slothy a shout out? Slothy is an amazing streamer uh, who just watched Lord of the Rings last night, if I remember correctly. How was the watch party? I was going to go in to say what you do, but then I just remembered you watched Lord of the Rings. 
Uh, she streams a bunch of Stardew, and usually at a time that I can't watch, but yesterday she was streaming early enough for me to tune in. Onion, do your job. <laughs> It'll be there eventually. Let's see. Uh, we have avocado toast? I don't believe we do. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> Made that story so much better. Oh, made the story that much better. Oh, have you not um have you not watched through it before, Slothy? I had, was assuming it was a rewatch party for you. I've seen that movie like three times? Like once when I was ten, so I barely remember that. And then like twice much more recently. Oh, it is your first time, that's amazing. Oh, how did you enjoy the Twin Towers? You said it made the story better, right? Sorry, let me make sure I didn't miss any chats here. You won't be able to get a PB today. Your hands are too slippery. I'm sorry to hear that error. Who doesn't like cookies? Onion. <laughs> yeah, no problem, Slothy. You deserve it. Honestly. Your stream was a lot of fun last night. During the summer, I might be able to hang out a little bit more on um, uh, at late times. But at the moment, right now, I have to go to bed early. I love the ends, they're so sweet. Oh my goodness, I love that scene so much. <laughs> All right, let's go here. I just love the idea that the thing that con that convinced the ends to like, to move or to go do things, well, at least at first, was hobbits. It just felt like so fitting, like the shortest creatures were convincing like the tallest creatures. Yeah, it felt like a really good idea. <laughs> Honestly, those movies are very good in general. Iridium, but meat. <laughs> Squirrel, welcome in. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. <laughs> the one putting its hair out in the fire. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot about that. Gosh, I should rewatch that. It's been probably two years since I've watched it. Maybe it was before COVID even. COVID has, like, thrown off my sense of, like, when things are so badly. Mr. Streamer, do you like Worcestershire sauce? I actually don't like it very much. I don't like soy sauce that much, and I think Worcestershire is soy-based. Oh, yeah, he stuck his head in the fire to put it, I mean, in the water to put it out. I don't like sweet things when they're dry. Oh man, I love shortbread cookies. I think they're incredible. I love cookies a little too much, I feel like. <laughs> How dare you not like soy sauce? I don't know, it's just... Like, I don't hate it. I'll, I'll definitely have foods within it, but I don't like adding it to foods, like I see a lot of people doing. Oh my goodness, Ames, don't ever do... <laughs> Onion, can you time out Ames? No, don't actually time out. <laughs> that just gave me a massive gag reflex though <laughs> alright we're gonna go ahead and head to Ducky you and I are like peas in a pod it feels like alright we're gonna do some mines bombing here tonight before I completely stop playing Stardew here cool <laughs> where's the oh Keck W we want that. Yeah. Except I want you to pronounce words terrible. <laughs> Sorry to hear that, Ducky. I don't want to do that. Use Spanish words, Ducky. Yeah, I definitely can't speak Spanish, so you, you'd get me there. Oh, I, I've heard of it before, Ames. For some reason, I just read it as cool first. <laughs> oh, I wanted to change my ring. Let's do that.
All right, Onion, challenge accepted. Let's do this. <clears throat> I should just put in the song random German words when they're long. Oh, some random G German words. <laughs> I wouldn't be too bad at pronouncing German, I think, because I have taken German before. So you would pronounce this. Rural Orthenogen Allgynecologist? I don't think there's a guy in there, actually. It's just gone colleagist. Colonel Penguin Sixth Isthmus Arome Choir. Outside of the one word, I think I was fine. Do you want me to pronounce it fast or something? Because there's zero chance I can do that. <laughs> I lurk now. No problem, Ames. Enjoy your stardew sesh. One thing that made sense after my sister... Hold on. One of the things that made sense about my sister after she was diagnosed with pots was her drinking soy sauce. Her body told her brain she needed salt. Ooh. Well, I don't know the word onion. What is it supposed to be pronounced? Well, then you spelled it wrong, right? Oh, no, it is an enemy. With a capital A, it threw me off. It looked like a Romany. I can say an enemy. I think I said it right. If I didn't, I, I am prepared to be lambasted. <laughs> Let's see. Ish. Uh, it's Elin Harkin. No, it's not Shin. It's, uh, whatever. I give up. You're right, Ducky. I can't. I can't do it. Did I put in. An R somewhere. That one seems easier, Katharina. Uh, no, something like that. <laughs> I should just go for it. All this pausing in the middle of words make it sound worse. I'm dead. Oh no. Uh, let's see here. Probably not a holly. We got it. Woo! I actually thought I... <laughs> I thought I died there for sure. Because the ghost got me. Uh, which floor do you normally start to bomb? Uh, this one. I've only bombed this one, really. Because dwarf gadgets can appear here. And that's what I need, really. Well, Katharina, yeah, the reason being is probably because I took three years of German, but not the next two. So I'm good at the start of German words, but not the back half. Which one's Spanish? The long word that I tried to say, but failed miserably. I like how that doesn't narrow it down at all. <laughs> That could be any word I've said today. Uh, let's see. These words are just have too many syllables. <laughs> Atorilla laryngoglia gria gol golagria golgria. I think that's it. <laughs> that sounds vaguely like a word. No, this is Patrick, paleontologist. I can do it when I've heard the word before. Maybe I just haven't heard enough words pronounced before. I can't get out of here. There we go. That was a large rock blockage there. Come on.
My brother sent me a Snapchat of him holding hands with his friend. Okay, that's intriguing, Frazzle. Um, <laughs> just in time for squat thrusts. Uh, German and Spanish have some words in common. All right, let me finish the day out here and I will do the squat thrusts. <laughs> um, I guess that's an extra one of those. Man, we're fin finishing up all of these today. Okay. Ooh. You want to do a Spanish tongue twister? <laughs> Onion, please don't make me think about these things. Soy tanto? First I thought it was supposed to be like soy Toronto and I was very confused. Let's drop off our crystal fruit, our bombs, and then we're going to do some squat thrusts, apparently. Who's really the fool, Ducky? The fool or the fool that calls themselves a fool? And if you answered both, you're probably right. There you go, Leah. Take something nice. All right, let's do this onion. Trace Trista Tigris Tragen Trito An Tragal. Easy. I'm basically Argentinian. It might actually be easy to say, easier to say a tongue twister in a language you don't know, now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> New channel point reward idea. We can give you a word to pronounce. It seems like you don't need channel points to make me do that <laughs> at the current moment. <laughs> there are no words that describe how wrong that was. I'm going to assume I was correct and call it good. Alright, we're going to do some squat thrusts. Alright, let's go ahead and pop out our massive face cam here. And now the real trick is keeping sneakers on my head the whole time we're doing this. Um, probably not going to want to stay there. Alright. Shoulder length arms. Hands out, oh, shoulder length legs. I said arms for some reason. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. My legs did not like that. I like how sneakers was popping on and off the screen as I was doing them. That felt pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, one second, sneakers. Sneakers, don't fall on my keyboard. It's like a real cat. <laughs> Whoop, nope, nope, sneakers, put your face up. People want to see the face. Although sneakers won't be here for much longer, it looks like. <laughs> If sneakers fall, you restart. Fair enough. Welcome in, Mads. Row is ready. Oh, I see that. Thank you for noticing that. I'll probably get it after I do the statues and other things. I'm out of breath. Can you tell that? Probably can tell that. <laughs> Give me one second to breathe here. Finally, no stream delay. Interesting. That's good, Chunky. Ooh, okay, let's go. It's so fun when I sometimes read old Portuguese sentences and go, I can understand that. Yep, I see the road, Ducky. I'll do it after uh, the first go around. It's a lot easier to notice when the uh, statues aren't blocking it. <laughs> you lived through class, Strawberry. Congratulations. That's always the hard part, isn't it? I should. We should get wallpaper for the shed so it doesn't look so gloomy in there. 
Just something nice, you know? Something like rustic. We could do that, Ducky. I think there's some pretty rare wallpapers, right? Hmm. I don't exactly. You might. You might not know this, Ducky, but I've never actually done wallpaper or flooring in this game before, so I actually don't know how it works. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the inside of my house, but that might give you some hint that I've never actually done that before. <laughs> you might notice there is some, but that was all Leah's choice. I seeded the decision to my wife, and, um, she's certainly adventurous about the placement of the flooring and wallpaper. Wouldn't exactly describe it as artistic, but an ambitious might be a better word. Lucy, welcome in. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. How are you doing? Uh-oh. You know what that timer means. Alright, it's pretty self-explanatory. Here, I'm gonna stop that before it's annoying. Well, I mean, wasn't much hope of that. <laughs> we'll finish out the shed here. And then it's time for Sneakers to go back to his perch. Let's put you back, Sneakers. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Lucy, if I read that correctly on the way over here. Sneakers? I'm very sorry to hear that, Lucy. I hope I can allevi alleviate some of that stress for you. Hope things get better as well. Oops, that's not the right place where that goes. There we go. Hmm. I guess it doesn't matter. I was just thinking, like, if I'm putting pickles and jelly together, why would I not be also putting row together, but I guess it really doesn't actually matter <laughs> if I put them together or not. I'll do it later, eventually. Okay, let's go to the beach. So today in school, wait. <laughs> Why was there a poll going? Red vented, what do you do? So this might surprise, I don't even think I've said this before. I've never actually played Among Us. I've watched it a whole lot, but I never actually played. For whatever reason, I was just never able to play it with people. <laughs> so maybe we'll do that for a game night at some point. That might be fun. I know all the strategies and everything because I used to watch uh, a Jorb, Jorbs, a streamer that's pretty popular. He used to play it a bunch. He was very analytical about it, too. But yeah, I've never actually played myself. Next game night? Maybe. I don't know. I think I'd like to have one more game night where it's like everyone can play. Because I know Among Us technically is cheap, but it's not free, you know? So maybe we'll do Scribble or Gartic again. Yeah, I'd say Among Us is pretty fun. Like I said, I haven't played it, but I've watched a bunch of it. These polls are getting out of hand. Well, good thing we didn't have a bet today. Omni has got crushed. And not in the Clint way. Come on. Uh Oh, let's go over here. And then horse flewed it up. You can leave your negative comments at the door. 
Onion, I don't know if you know this. Maybe this is a mistranslation issue, but doors are not trash cans. Those are two different things. Bear crow. That's it, though, sadly. Horsey! Hey, piano. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Oh, piano, I've been meaning, I meant to ask you uh, in chat, was that last night? Oh my god, all my days are blending together. Uh, how long have you been doing the um, 69 million challenge? Because you're like already in fall, so I feel like I would have noticed it had you been doing it for a while, but like I didn't know you were doing it. <laughs> Does that make sense? I feel like that doesn't make sense. Oh, also welcome in. <laughs> Probably should start there. Whoops. Uh, Be Funny Now is a new free game that's good for the... Pretty good for party style play. Okay, I could look into that. What's it called? Be Funny Now. Is it kind of like a Jackbox thing? Okay, I see. Okay, so it has been going for a while. Okay, I do vaguely remember you saying you were trying to go back to it. I was like, how long have you been doing this challenge? A challenge run like this? You shouldn't be in fall by now if you just started when I wasn't looking. <laughs> Excuse me, there's a poll I have to bet in. I have to, uh... Please stop. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad to see the money challenge runs are starting up again. I'm very excited to watch some of those. Well, all of them, I should say. <laughs> some of them makes it sound like there's some people I don't want to watch. Basically Jackbox style. Okay, be funny now. Let me throw that on my notes. And I'll take a look at it. Fighting with the data as I have to leave campus Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. <laughs> made the bus. Good job, Strawberry. You made it. I was just thinking for some reason when you said fighting with the data, I thought you were doing like something with statistics for your paper. You were like trying to fit it to your data or something like that, which is not how you're supposed to do statistics. But we got a lot of polys today. Anyone hating on the polls is getting banned. Well, I'll be honest with you, Onion. I voted yes, please stop. And uh, you can't ban me, so take that. <laughs> At least I hope you can't ban me. That seems like an oversight on Twitch's part. All right, uh, Friday, island time. Okay, I got a message on Discord the other day which it was very funny. It was someone who was like, hey, you want to be friends? <laughs> like, just out of nowhere. I was like, that's weird. Well, I, that's probably just like a streamer thing. But then I looked like which discords we had in common. And the only discord we had in common was, um, was uh, uh, another Twitch streamer, well, a singer that I enjoy listening to, uh, Amelie. And I... <laughs> I was like, well, that doesn't make sense. They would at least follow one Stardew Discord, right? If they <laughs> had watched my stream or anything. And then I thought they were referencing my challenge when they said the hello message because it was something like, oh, you've got 999 problems? I've got 998 problems, lol. I was like, I realized like afterwards, it's just like, oh, they literally just like, they saw my message on under my Discord because it says I have 999 problems. And they decided to message me. It had nothing to do with my streaming. And I thought that was very funny. Uh, I tried to play a game with them, but for some reason it just didn't work out. I can't even remember. This was like a week ago, now that I'm saying it. <laughs> Little do you know, Algo. Yes, my mods can ban the mods can ban the streamer. That seems unideal for sure. You tried. <laughs> I, I like that. <laughs> that tells a wonderful story right there, Onion. <laughs> hey, Mango Sapling. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter very much, but we'd like to see it. Yeah. 
Okay, let's drop everything off here. <laughs> that could be a fun uh, sub-special. I just go up to random people and ask if they want to be my friend. <laughs> That's probably less less cute after COVID happened, huh? I don't think I have the natural charisma to pull that off. <laughs> Which would probably make it a better video, not a worse one. <laughs> All right, Friday, let's go to the mines. I feel like we haven't done any mining this stream. Uh, technically, but I don't want to spend any of my, what's the word I'm looking for here? Dragon's teeth on banana saplings. I'm just gonna use golden coconuts. My dragon's teeth are for dragon's teeth things. <laughs> it's a fun phrase, I guess. I'm going to ignore hardwood today and see how much of a difference that makes. Because I feel like I've been spending a lot of time gathering hardwood. And while I still technically need hardwood, I'm going to get it from other things before I get it from here. Come on. Hey, we love to see it. More mummified frogs, please. Wow, I just destroyed that mushroom. <laughs> I even I even attacked this after image. Yeah, five dragon's teeth per banana sapling. I feel like Concerned Dave chose violence when he decided on that conversion. Like, it's somewhat reasonable if you're only getting a few. If you only need, like, a few banana saplings. But if you want, like, more than two, it's suddenly a huge annoyance to go get the, all those dragon teeth. Yeah, it's definitely easier to get them from the golden coconuts. Like, I feel like even casually it is. Because you, you occasionally get golden coconuts, and it's a 1 in 7 chance. I wish I had known they came from golden coconuts when I first started Perfection. Or first started 1.5. Because I think I grounded out, like, 50. <laughs> Whoa. The world, like, momentarily paused there. Because I grabbed that mushroom and it threw me off. Because I, um... Wanted all those saplings, so I needed like 50 dragon teeth. And now those dragon teeth are gone. And I really miss them. Come on, meet me in the middle. Why don't you just meet me in the middle? Just a little. You gotta be careful not to get demonetized. Oh my god. I'm gonna stop making the joke now. It wasn't even that funny to begin with. Ill clip. What type of weed was it? Does it matter, Chunky? All types of weeds, right? That can they can drop from. You can check the VOD if you need to, too. Well, most folks will get some from go Golden Coconuts and can buy a few more if they want to round it out. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I imagine most people buy their first banana sapling because they probably don't know you can get them from Golden Coconuts. At least I didn't. I guess the wiki is now updated, so that might change some things. I feel like most people want, like, three banana trees, at least. Maybe not, though. I guess you only really need one. I don't know, banana trees are cool. Whoop. Okay, I see. Well, you can check the VOD. I think VODs are already out, right? You just need to like refresh the VOD page. I think that's how it works. 
I've done that before for other streamers. Or you could clip it. Oh, that's right. There you go, Onion. <laughs> that's what you meant by clip. Uh, let's see. Mangoes are better money. It's probably true. Bananas are cooler. At least I like bananas more IRL, so maybe that's why I'm biased or something. Uh, bats for sure, Ducky. It's not particularly close. Um, I can get... Last time I went to the harder mines, I'm sorry, the volcano mines, I got six mummified bats, which is a lot. <laughs> That's true, but you could also have duck feathers, hedgehog. Oops, not time to leave. Post the clip of the clips channel. My brain is galaxy. Uh, I am not doing a cute quest right now, uh, coffee beans. Um, this is you can unlock once you unlock this through a cute quest, you can turn it on and off after that. I wish you could do that for skull caverns, but um, no. Oh yeah, definitely. Bananas are probably my favorite fruit. Yeah, almost certainly bananas are my favorite fruit. And, um... Oh, this is... This, this is gonna hurt some people. Oh my goodness, haboo! <laughs> I should probably keep my opinion to myself now. Welcome in, everybody from Haboo's channel. <laughs> haboo, how's it going? I believe you were playing Terraria speedruns today. I hope those went well. I only uh, was able to join in for a little bit, and I saw a run that went poorly, sadly. But I hope the rest of it went very well. I hope you had a great stream... Uh, welcome in everybody. Uh, my name is the algorithm. I think you might some of you might remember me because Subu just raided me not too long ago <laughs> Okay, let's say hello to everyone really quick all of Sam welcome in Navilia Navillian <laughs> Sorry, I'm very bad at pronouncing names. So we're gonna try this as fast as we can Spag hat spag hat <laughs> welcome in Lambelle welcome in idiot queen welcome in. Oh my goodness. So many awesome people here. A welcome spark, by the way. I don't know if you were in Haboo's chat and just joined in. <laughs> Pro, welcome in. Haboo, core keeper as well. Oh, I don't think I know what core keeper is. Well, I hope you had fun. Both runs went fine-ish. That's good to hear. Yeah, last time I, I like, I literally tuned in for about five minutes, and um, for whatever reason, the glitch where the destroyer doesn't was isn't able to hit you, like, didn't work. <laughs> is exactly the moment I saw. So that run, I think, did not go well, unfortunately. <laughs> well, Hulu, thank you for stopping by. Uh, if you need to head out or anything like that, feel free to do so. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Yeah, it was. <laughs> you were very frustrated. Uh, but it, it was a little funny, I have to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> I haven't played Terraria in a while. I've been meaning to get back into it. Uh, Spark Love, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> Got it. I'm glad you all are enjoying the butt meat emote. Uh, Faceless Robot, welcome in. We kept the core. <laughs> butt meat is butt meat. And uh, welcome in, Dream. I'm sorry, not Demon, Mermaid. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, so, for those of you who are new, uh, typically what we do here is I'm doing a challenge called the 999 Challenge where I am attempting to get 999 of every single item in the game. It's a bit unhinged, yes. <laughs> so a lot of items are very easy, like getting 999 bug meat. That doesn't take very long at all. Uh, but there's some harder ones. Here's one of them right here. I managed to get one today. Uh, it's the mummified frog. You can only get them from weeds inside the harder mines, the jungle levels like this one here, or the jungle in uh, on Ginger Island, which... There's no way I'm getting a thousand from there, so I need to get them from here mostly. Um, but a lot of this challenge went into planning, and most of that planning is done at this point. So we're mostly at the execution stage, where I am just running through things and making sure I can get everything done here. Oh, it looks like Joy wants us to have sneakers as a guest streamer, so I will be right back with sneakers. Sneakers is going to be streaming for the next 30 minutes. <laughs> Sneakers stream part two. Oh, we got to get my headset on first. What an odd number. Um, 
if you're referring to getting like a stack of everything, it's just because that's what things stack to in this game. We actually, I know a lot of you have just been coming from a Terraria, partially a Terraria stream. Uh, we've talked a little bit about like stack challenges in other games and Terraria would just be like absolutely impossible. <laughs> I thought about it for a while like how would I do that and then I immediately stopped thinking about it because it's just not in any way feasible <laughs> and I think I saw in like the dev diary for Terraria which is somehow getting another update that they're adding stacks up to 9999 oh in Minecraft it wouldn't be that difficult we've talked about that one before too uh oh yes yep all my channel points are in um in stacks that's kind of the general idea I'm going for <laughs> okay back down yeah I've adjusted some of the prices because it takes longer to get channel points than I thought I'm so used to in Habu stream I have like a hundred thousand because I never spend them on anything <laughs> Yeah, in Minecraft, you can only get one of some un I yeah, some items. Excuse me. Welcome in, by the way, Swan. Um, but that's true in this game as well. Like, there's a bunch of items you can only get one of in this game. I'm only counting the items that you actually can stack. So I do the same in Minecraft. Yep, like the dragon egg. Badoof, welcome in. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, Link is bad. I kind of wanted to try completing the community center, but I can only make money from the mines and skull caverns. Mm, I'm thinking I think someone actually tried to do something similar to that I know of a lot of challenges that are like you can only make money a certain way that seems like a pretty fun way to do it though yeah it would take a little bit of time I think it would be more fun though because you'd have be forced to keep on using the mines it depends what you're looking for in your game right for some people that probably would be significantly less enjoyable <laughs> some people really don't do not like the mines Oops. Come here. I am okay. I don't know how to cut weeds, apparently. Need that new lawnmower item that's apparently coming to Minecraft. We got a radioactive ore right on the last in the last minute here. Oh, let's get this. Let's see if we can't get one more nice thing. Okay, pretty good haul today, honestly. Peter Polar, have you already done things like the Iridium Crops? Uh, so, I'm ignoring quality for the purposes of this run, but I have done all of the crops. Uh, so, I've got a whole bunch of crops here. At least one stack of each. So, the only rule is that it has to be in one stack. So, uh, Fiddleheads are going to take forever. We've got one full stack here. But then I also need to do the things like wine, juice, and um, not wine. It would be juice and jelly. Pickles, not jelly. And then also the fiddlehead risotto. I haven't done any of that yet. But yeah, I've got like all my fruit here. Through here. And then this is just the uh, the fruits that comes from the trees. I really should mix them in, but... Prozac, welcome in. Link is bad. Thank you so much for the follow. I hope you're. I'm glad that you're enjoying enough the follow. Uh, surely every different wine. Absolutely. <laughs> I got a lot of kegs. Uh, it's a little too late to go over there, but I do have all the wines. I can at least show you all of the uh, pickles and juices, uh, pickles and uh, jellies. So all of these here and all of these here. The only ones I'm missing are the fiddleheads. So that's right here. I've got one as a placeholder. Those are not that difficult. <laughs> In like a year, you can, if you have enough kegs, you can get those all done. 
yeah the crops are really easy as well took some time for sure but nothing like crazy or anything let's see don't want to miss any chat i didn't realize they were adding stuff in 1.19 they're adding a few things, Mermaid. I do I do agree I felt a little disappointed by it, but it is a free game. I can't be too upset, I feel like. Oh, it's a person. Prof Mouse, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Let's see. <laughs> Zankus, I have no uh, points in Haboo's chat because of timeout redemptions. <laughs> I've definitely used a few of those for sure. Oh, it's a princess what do you think you'll do at the stacks after you hit 9999 um i'm not going to sell it i well i might make a backup and sell just to see how much money every stack is worth i thought about doing that i'm also going to turn everything into a museum at the very end and upload the file so once i'm done stacking everything that's what i'm going to end up doing that's going to be my last thing i do yeah so you can go and see like all the different stacks all of Sam, thank you so much for the follow. Um, we're still a while away from that, though. <laughs> still quite a bit away from that. Oh, we were talking about Minecraft. Link is bad. Yeah, I don't imagine... Most things are not worth that much money. I, I imagine I probably won't make more than, like, 10 million <laughs> from selling everything. You'd be surprised. Like, uh, most, like, I'm obviously making a ton of money right now because I need to for my Statues of Endless Fortune, but realistically, most of the things that I'm stacking aren't worth that much. <laughs> like, artifacts I don't think are worth all that much. All the wine's a lot, for sure, but most of it's not worth that much. Like, the Starfruit wine, the Ancient Fruit wine, those are both, like, really good money makers. But, like, Blueberry wine, that's like, almost nothing, even a whole stack. <laughs> I shouldn't say nothing, but I don't know. Someone can go do the math if they want to. I'll wait till I actually do it and then just estimate based off of that. Oh, it's a person. Nevelyn, thank you so much for the follow. Oh, did I say that right? Nivelin? Please correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I am wrong most of the time, so I will gladly adjust my uh, my statements if I need to. All right, I'll get the rest of that tomorrow. Let's go to bed. Zach, welcome in. Hope you're having a great day so far. No, it's okay. Nevelin is fine then, or Nivelin. I'm going to go with Nivelin if that's okay with you. I want to be able to speed run Stardew, but no matter what, I can't seem to get forging on day one. Are you talking about like doing mines 50 runs? I've done a few mines 50 runs myself, and I also get very bad luck. It feels like at least. Yeah. If you don't get good forges, you just reset for mines 50. It's not worth continuing with something like that, because it's such a short run. <laughs> You're going to bomb it and lose it. For those of you who don't know, if you um, hit a stick bug with a bomb, there's a bug currently in the game where it turns invisible. It turns invisible permanently, and it becomes very difficult to find. You can still kill it and everything. Oh, forging one in one day. I see what you're saying, Link is bad. Okay. Um, yeah, you should be able to do that. Are you? I know maybe you're just starting out speedrunning, but if you're animation canceling... You should probably be able to get forging one in one day from chopping trees. Uh, I've done it before when I was doing, well, we do a run here called uh, Stack Percent where we try to get a stack of something and wood is something you can get a stack of for sure. Nivellin, perfect. Spaghetti Squish, are you also doing a stack of each variety of aged wine or does it fall into the not caring about quality? Uh, that is quality. So when you age wine, it becomes like iridium quality or gold quality. So that's, that's considered to be quality. All right. So I feel bad doing this right after I got raided and everything. <laughs> but I have to go use the restroom. And so we'll, we're about an hour and a half in the stream. So I do want to take a little bit of a break here. 
So just about five minutes, I'll be right back. I might get some tea, but eh, it's pretty late. So I'll probably just get some more water. So I'll be right back in just a minute. Um, until then, uh, get up yourself, get a stretch in, get some water, relax for a bit, and I will be right back. Can I leave for five minutes without you all trying to overthrow me? This is like the third time in a week. <laughs> oh, Frazzle. Three people didn't want to revolt? I wonder why. Maybe it's because they want me in charge. All right, let's pull down the screen. <laughs> all right, I'm back. I hope you all got a good stretch in between revolution. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was looking up here, you definitely should be pretty easy, well, I guess easy is a variable word, but to get level 1 forging in one day, because it's done in ha Hat Mouse, and it's done very quickly in Hat Mouse, obviously. Uh, Mr. Goodcat, welcome into the stream. Rob, awesome to see you. Hope you're having a great day today. Rob, do you like sneakers? He's streaming right now. I am just a puppet. Now we want sneakers. You know what, Mermaid? That's fair. That's probably fair. Also, Rob, I don't know if you're still here, but... Oh yeah, you are here. I'd have gotten here early. I'd have voted for Revolution. Fair enough. <laughs> 
You have just been killing it with Hammerwatch lately. I was watching your Steam achievements. You went from like level 12 to level 20. <laughs> I gained like one level over the same time period. <laughs> Uh, the poll is gone. It had concluded with, I believe, overthrow, but um, you all cannot do that, so I don't know why you're voting on it. <laughs> this is my stream. Oh, um, I don't think there is one for Omnis. We don't do it every day, Joy. Um, and we probably shouldn't do it now, because I'm going to go straight to the next one here. Whoops, let's put these away. Uh, let's do Omni Gambling tomorrow, Onion, because it's just a little bit... Because I'm about to start grabbing the next batch here. So it'll be too late to have voting. Gotta start it a little earlier if we're gonna do it. I was bored. I made even more progress today because I caught COVID. Oh my gosh! So you did test positive. Jeez. I hope you don't have any symptoms. Probably from the conference, right? And did like every other person at that conference have it or something? That spread like crazy. I mean, you can, but it's gonna get influenced by <laughs> what we're seeing now. And it's looking like Omnis are definitely not gonna win at this point. <laughs> I see like a few total for the rest of the whole thing. This entire row has won. That's just unlikely. There's four there though. Okay, so it was from something else. Interesting. Well, I guess you're still working in a hospital, right? So that'll do it. <laughs> oh, so you do have symptoms. Dang. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you're feeling all right. Have a three second vote. I don't think you can have a vote that short. Yeah. Wow, Omni's got crushed. <laughs> Look at that. Like 20, or it's 10 to the nearest one. Well, luckily there were no believers today for their sake. Just have some congestion. You tested, right? So you know for sure it's COVID. I mean, I guess you would have definitely done so. Uh, okay, Chunky, I'm sorry, I missed your message. There's a chance that when you go into the dangerous mine floors that it will be a jungle floor where a special weeds can spawn. So you can only get it from them. Ooh. How do I experiment with that? It seems drastically more likely. How did you test for this, Chunky? Did you look at the code, or is this something that you noticed? Yeah, you did test it. I, I mean, I guess you would have, obviously. Oh, you probably have a home test too, right? I'm willing to bet all my points tomorrow that Fish Taco wins. It's probably going to be a good bet for you, Der Demon. Uh, but we're going to finish a stack tomorrow, that means. Because we just need less than 200 for the um, Fish Taco stacks. I always vote no, I would have won. Code dig time, well, uh, you know what, Mermaid, thank you so much for all the work you do for this, for sure. It's crazy that you can just go in there and see everything. Well, obviously you have to look for it. Tested positive on the way home test today, but it was negative on the PCR test three days ago. Yeah, so it must have been something recent then, huh? Has Jessica gotten tested yet? Or Jess, I guess. <laughs> Question, do, all the, do you have to have all the stacks at once or to count if you have 999 Iridium Ore and then turn them into bars? Oh, I need the bars and the ore, which I have both, so not a big problem. But yeah, it means I need the ore and the radioactive bars. So if you look at my spreadsheet, it has like the total amount I need. So I need like, 50,000 wood or something, but I'm all done with it at this point. <laughs> because I need so much, I'm sorry, like 200,000 wood.
because I need it for so many of these machines. So like things like the scarecrow need a lot of wood. Things like the chests. Things like the um, kegs. Uh, I have a stack of kegs. They're just currently in use. <laughs> A lot of these things need wood or stone or hardwood. Speaking of hardwood, need a lot of hardwood for this run. <laughs> I should really do actual union work instead. You know, Mermaid, you actually should. You don't have to do this for me, you know. I'd be very thankful if you do, but... Ah, okay, so you're just quarantining away from her. Well, that's good that she didn't manage to catch it from you. What I did was ding strat, so I went to 41, kept breaking all the weeds. None of the normal ones had a frog when there were many more of them. When I went through only a few jungle weeds, it happened. It would be a coincidence, but also seems to match up with your frogs. Okay, I think the jungle levels might be slightly darker, because I'm remembering a pattern that all the levels I get a mummified frog on are darker levels. Hmm. Maybe I'll look into that. I hear that only... Home tests are more likely to give false positives if your PCR is negative, but you're symptomatic. It's really confusing. Yeah. Hope you feel better soon, Rob. Yeah, stats does not sound enjoyable, at least to me. It's probably enjoyable to you, because it's what you chose to go into, right? <laughs> Alright, we're going to run to the island here, speaking of mummified frogs. Do the work you want to do. Exactly, Frazzle. Ooh, Mr. Ape is here. Do the special weeds. Okay, I'll have to look into that. Or Mermaid will have to look into <laughs> I shouldn't say it like that. I'll 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 pay attention next time. Um I guess like I have VODs, so I could go back and like look at all of the times I've gotten one and see if it was the same type of weed every time. Okay, so it's very likely that you do have COVID, unfortunately. Dang. Well, it is going around again. I've definitely been using my max my mask all the time again now. Maybe I'll go get my second booster. How long are you supposed to wait between boosters? Is there like a set time or anything? I totally did not hit that tree. Oh, Duck, are you heading out? Is that Frazzle? I might, night, might have to close my eyes for a bit, nap time. All right, you have a good nap there, Frazzle. Hedgehog, many, minimum of four weeks between boosters, but they push out the recommended move further, more like eight. Are we supposed to get them every eight weeks? Um, yeah, I might be a little behind on those then. <laughs> I got 12 fiddlehead ferns from the dino floors in one run. Have you considered? I have considered, but I don't go to Skull Caverns all that much. Uh, I definitely, when I get the dino floors, I look for them. All right, enjoy your lurk, Gazalt. I mean, Ming, Ming I forgot, Ming. <laughs> All right, let's see here. I'm trying to figure out what we're gonna do today. I think we're done with everything. And it's only 1150. I'm trying to think if I missed something. While I'm deciding, Onion, sure. Uh, given dino floors are consistent to the day, it might be worth if you have a close dino floor. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so if there's like one on floor five, I can just keep on resetting for it. That would probably be a good idea. Yeah, I'll see if I get some on floor five sometimes, though. <laughs> My luck with Skull Caverns has not been great so far. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. We're gonna go for... Let's do a Volcano Run Mine. Volcano Mines Run. It's been a little bit since we've done that. Let's put everything away first, though. We haven't done one this stream, at least.
We need a prediction. Oh, Onion, if you want to make a death prediction, now's the time. Um, to be honest with you, I don't expect to die today. But if you think I will, you're free to vote against me. <laughs> There's a non-zero chance I die, for sure. Those enemies hit very hard. Oops, I was supposed to grab this. There we go. Oh, hello. Dang it, I missed one. I can walk through walls? I've never seen it travel that far before. <laughs> it's actually very funny. I'm just gonna leave it be. Hey, we got a mummified bat. Should probably not die on the first floor. That seems like it would be embarrassing. <laughs> I like how people are still predicting and head game close to dying there. That would have been kind of interesting, I feel like. <laughs> no take backsies. Die, please. Uh, looks good to me. <laughs> Look at this guy just chilling. I do not believe. You think I'll finally succumb to the volcano? Like I said, certainly possible. I do pay, play a little fast and loose with my health in here. to come to your injuries. Uh -huh. Hey! I feel like the entire last time I went, I didn't get a single dragon's tooth, so it's nice to see at least one of them today. Who's heading off? Oh, good night. Hope you have a wonderful day, Zinkris. Or a wonderful night, excuse me. <laughs> the other one. Since you got a bat, you now need to survive. Well, there's a pretty large chance that I don't lose my bat if I die. There is also a chance I lose my galaxy infinity gavel, so <laughs> obviously don't want that to happen at all. Okay, oh, let's speed up. Dang it. Get it off in time. I'm pretty sure that was 200 rocks right there. Oh, we've gotten three already. I guess I shouldn't complain. Uh, I definitely choose the gavel. The gavel is very annoying to pick another one of. It requires a lot of cinder shards and other things. And a bit of luck, too, because I have to get Artful. I've considered making another one, 
Because I could technically make a backup one, but I could also just not die, which seems like the better option for time saving. Oh. I still need those mushrooms. I don't know why I was just like, yeah, I'll blow it all up. Stack of infinity gambles. Luckily, a mermaid. The weapons do not stack, but I think you already knew that. <laughs> Man, that guy did not want to load. Stick your head up. Yeah, we got four so far. That's pretty good. Like, average is four per run, so it's pretty good that we've gotten four by floor four. We're getting some really lucky floors. I Saying the word floor and four over and over again is not good for my, <laughs> my already speaking deficient brain. Cannot aim. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we're getting a lot of lucky floors that have um, a bunch of rocks on them. Sometimes you get floors that have almost none, and it's like, well, I'm not going to get any bats, so <laughs> not a whole lot of point to staying here. Ooh. I forgot how much damage those guys do, because normally I don't get hit. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Thank you, Squirrel, for a chance to flex. Four, four, floor, flower, four, floor, four, flower, fuel, floor, floor, four. <laughs> My health is perfectly fine. You all worry too much. Like, I could possibly die. <laughs> you know how good I am at this game? Like, kind of mediocre, okay? Hey, Belle. We are trying to get mummified bats. They drop at a 1 in 200 chance from these rocks here. Uh-oh. You know what that sound means. It means sneakers time to streamer is over, and it's time for Algo to resume. So let's go ahead and put this down. Or put, Al put sneakers back. I almost called sneakers Algo. Tell how confusing that is. Okay, had to send a quick text, and we're good to go back. Uh-oh. Oh, no, we're good. I think my music stopped. No, it's just very quiet. I put the headphones back on, I didn't hear any sound. I got worried for a second. Uh, those aren't worth it. You might be. Can I hit you? Nope. Oh, don't worry, uh, Prozac. She's gotten plenty of those already. <laughs> oh. Swellbow is here? Is he he? Is it meant... It means algo time over and only sneakers. <laughs> uh, need to have infinity gavel that looks like wooden club and wooden club that looks like a gavel. <laughs> I guess I could do that. I forgot about that uh, change to the game. It's actually really cool that you can do that. Maybe I'll make it a bone sword. You probably have to make clubs into clubs, right? Because I imagine the animations wouldn't work otherwise. I got my elbow tattooed and it's mega swell bowl right now. <laughs> okay, when I first read that sentence, I thought you said you got like mega swell bow tattooed on your elbow. Like <laughs> that particular phrase. And I was like, oh, uh, good, good for you, <laughs> I guess. That's really cool. <laughs> oh, did you post it in uh, Discord? Hold on, let me look at it real quick. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. 
Like this doesn't look like my Discord. Or did you post it somewhere else? All right, well, let's continue for now and then you can tell me if I can see it. <laughs> friend okay I missed a button somewhere oh I missed a lot of rocks down here might as well get these where did I miss the button I don't see it anywhere oh <laughs> it's in the middle why don't you just meet me in the middle just a little I like how there, there's two right next to each other. <laughs> yeah, get that ice if you need it. Just check it in media now. Look. Oh, wow, that does look amazing. That's so cool. Oh, man, I like all your tattoos. Wait, whose legs are those? That looks like... I don't want to guess wrong, so <laughs> I won't. Put more rainbows. It's in Discord for anyone who wants to see it. Ah. Using my pickaxe feels so slow. I'm not used to switching to it. <laughs> Usually I don't need it. All right, we don't have a lot of time, so I'm just going to run in circles and press the bomb everything button. Oh, congrats. <laughs> Thought I paused in time, but I didn't. Well, it happens sometimes. Only four items. That oh my god. <laughs> well, I can get them back. Um, rip staircases, I guess. <laughs> it's very funny that those are the ones that went bye-bye. Alright, well, we're done with this today, at least. Congratulations, doubters. You you were always going to win, I think. I can get the bats back tomorrow. It's not a big deal. So let me go ahead and make sure I get those bats back tomorrow. Yep, 999 mummified bats is a requirement for this run, because they stack. Come here, friend. I like how they're worth 500 gold. <laughs> All right. Onion, delete that message, please. Pro death streamer. <laughs> I realize now what the... Okay, I probably shouldn't have read it out loud. <laughs> Sorry, you got me interested when you said delete the message over and over again. <laughs> we are going to be here a while, but I don't do the same thing every day. That's kind of part of the conceit of this run. I try to mix things up. You're fine, <laughs> squirrel. Everyone says weird things sometimes. <laughs> Let's drop everything off here. <laughs> I mean, like, you're good at dying. <laughs> you know what? You're not wrong, but we're going to take a nap. Sleep it off. <laughs> you were completely right, by the way, Joy. I definitely lost the bats. Is that going to get on the quote board, Onion? Put fossilized bats in my mailbox, truly. Strawberry, welcome back. 
Hope you had a good, um, I can't remember what you were doing, so I apologize, but I hope it was wonderful. Or at least lucrative, one of those two things. <laughs> wonderful and lucrative, how about that? Just got home, okay. <laughs> I hope you had a good travel. <laughs> you are saying that it is very unlikely you would lose them, but I knew better, yeah. I think I was saying that on purpose because I knew it would happen as well. There's like just something we do about, you know? Something in the in the volcano. <laughs> Rob, if you're still lurking, I saw I saw that. <laughs> Enjoy hammer. I mean heroes of hammer watch. Whoa! Congratulations, mermaid, you got it right. Did I miss anything fun? I died. The only thing I lost was my pride and some staircases though. Luckily my pride is real cheap at this point in my life. <laughs> not a whole lot there to worry about. Oh yay, we're gonna not get the Skull Cavern invasion quest again. I'm super excited for that. Uh, but I was just reminded that I need, well I need staircases but it looks like I'm gonna get them. I forgot. It's Sunday. Hey, wiki sniping is totally allowed for the purposes of this run. Let's see here. Skull Cat. Tomorrow will be Skull Cabin Invasion. You want to put it to a vote? Bet your points on that? Because <laughs> I know which side I'm betting on. Onion, go ahead, make it make a gamble for tomorrow's quest. <laughs> it's not very likely, but uh, you can feel free to be a believer. Put your points up for it. Can't wait for hungry challenge. Yep, <laughs> that does not count. It has to be skull cannon invasion. I do not want to lose your point. Exactly, Joy. <laughs> exactly, you know. Uh, do, would people actually want to? They can feel free to. You can do it if you want to. Yeah, you don't have to. Anyone smart would not vote for Skull Cavern Invasion tomorrow. Um, Eric is not on my side recently with regards to that. And I believe that it's not going to change tomorrow, sadly. Let's see here. I'll go die. That was fun. Tomorrow is Monday, too. At least you're still cute, I guess. Who are you referring to, oh, Squirrel? Joy. Tomorrow will be Skull Cavern. Yep. Don't want to lose my points. Can't wait for hunger challenge. I'm not smart. I'll vote for it. Thank you, Ducky. <laughs> Someone had to. Eric, what would you? Why would you do that, Eric? Yay! Everybody's stack. We got a stack. Woo! <laughs> Did I sound excited? I was going for excited, but I don't think it came out quite that way. Oh me! Oh thank you. Um, I assumed you were talking about sneakers, but. <laughs> Where are we going? I'm totally lost as to where we are. Oh, we got Gem Talk next. Let's see here. Okay, Gem Talk time. Who's ready for Gem Talk? I'm not, because I don't know which one we're doing. Um, ooh, here's one. I think we already talked about superpowers, but I found a different one here. What superpower would you want in Stardew Valley? Yes. Oh, and traveling cart today. Correct. Thank you. Well, Joy, for some reason my mind's not working right now. Yeah, thank you, Ducky. <laughs> so in Stardew Valley, in this game, what superpower would you want? I feel like flight wouldn't really do much. Invisibility doesn't really help. So I think I'd go with like super speed. Super speed would be really fun. <laughs> you could basically already have it, but just imagine like you've got Snappy on. You go in speed 10 all the time. Oh, is there actually a bet right now? You know what? Doubters are going to be real sad when it actually happens. Item spawning. I mean, just, I guess, I guess just having Snappy is a superpower, right? <laughs> you can just pull up anything, go as fast as you want, skip to any day. It basically makes you a Time Lord, doesn't it?
plus five speed all the time. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Katharina. That would be that would be very nice feeling. Oh, someone someone took the offer. Someone bet for uh, Skull Cavern Invasion. Not many points, but you know, it's the thought that counts. Yeah, ten is really hard to control. Five would probably be a lot better. But even like I think three would actually be pretty pretty good. I'm kind of sad that Concerned Eight removed the uh, the extra buff from Q seasoning, the extra speed buff. It would be fun to be going at four like all the time. <laughs> I would definitely do that. <laughs> Walking through walls would also be pretty good, I think. Moving objects with your mind, telekinesis style. That's a pretty fun one, I think. It's like one the one use of Q seasoning. Yeah, it's unfortunate it got removed. Like I sort of understand the reasoning, but really I think what should have been done is like cap the speed at three or something like that. So you can get it either from like your Savage Ring or you can get it from the Q seasoning. Maybe maybe it was causing crashing issues. I don't know. A lot of PCs probably can't handle <laughs> that screen movement. Maybe not though. This game isn't super intensive, right? Ability to increase stack size. That is a villain power. You are a villain right now, mermaid. <laughs> Who would ever doubt? Um, can I be honest? I would doubt. <laughs> Item spawning would be a, uh, a game ending power. It would kind of take a lot of the fun out of the game, unfortunately, I think. <laughs> be fun if you're trying to speedrun. I'm gonna keep these. I'm about to lose my points. Power to use mods. Yeah, just turn your universe into expanded whenever you want to. Didn't shift click that. Okay, traveling cart day, horse time. I love watching the horse like misty step from just over there to me. Yeah, it would make this run boring at least. There's some runs that item spawning could be kind of fun for, right? I mean, they did it in the uh, Stardew Valley Trials, right? Oh, it's for one of the um, one of the challenges they had item spawn spawning on. Look at that! This is a pretty. I need all of these things. This is like the first time this has ever happened. Okay, I don't need that, but I'll buy it for squirrel's sake. Uh, Pixel Cat, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Wow. What a day. Praise Cart Lady. And I probably would have forgotten if someone hadn't reminded me, so praise chat. <laughs> Nope, I want it. Slam hammer. Slam hammer. Look how fast my horse is going. Okay. <laughs> I got too excited. Uh, I actually don't need to come down here. Abilities to not have to deal with NPCs would be pretty nice. Yeah, I feel like the um, key to the town and all the teleporting pretty much already does that. <laughs> Do we have two doubles? That's actually pretty good. Six alleys. They spawn pretty frequently in the secret woods. Just, um... Not enough, <laughs> is the thing. But we're doing pretty good now. Don't lose your horse in the woods. I can call... I can call the horse back here. 
There you go, horsey. You can stay here, I guess. Okay, gotta drop all these fishies off, too. I am too lazy to look at them alphabetically. Oh, they all they were all in this chest. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Uh, what do we need? Slime, sap, jade, mix seeds. Okay, mix seeds goes here. Slime goes here. Jade goes here, and sap goes here. Okay. Doesn't make their schedules any better. Yeah, that's that's definitely true. They're not exactly schedule friendly, are they? It it deals with a lot of it though. Morning, Leo. Oh, sorry, that's gonna probably give you a headache. And it's also the afternoon. You thought of one what? Teleportion teleportation. Ooh, teleportation's really good. I mean, like like I said, we already have that a little bit, but like you're saying, teleporting to every NPC. Yeah, not having to know their schedule would be huge. Oh, come on. What is this? That's illegal. Come here. Morning, Leo. Enjoy the migraine. Yeah, I wish I knew how to cancel that, right? <laughs> I messed, like, every single one of those up. farm blades predictor um wait what for oh pixel cat thank you so much for the cheer the bits followed you from youtube how did you come up with this challenge Ooh, so we have an faq where i answer that but i don't mind answering it as well here uh the idea for the challenge was kind of i don't know want to say spontaneous it was more along the lines of like i really love this game but 1.1 was out and I had finished everything that the game had to offer. I did all the challenges. Um, I didn't do Factor's Challenge, admittedly, but I did everything else I could. Hey, that's a good thing to get. And I was like, well, I want to try doing some like challenge runs because I've done challenge runs of other games before, like Fallout New Vegas and Minecraft and things like that. Uh, so I tried to come up with some ideas. I was like, well, the community center, like as early as possible. And it turned out like people had done that already. And the more I looked into it, the less interested I seemed, I felt about it. Not that it's not like a fun thing to do or anything. Just like it didn't interest me particularly. And then I was like, well, I really like collecting things. And I've already got this file that's already got a lot of stuff on it. What if I just got like 900, like a whole stack of every single item in the game? And when I made that declaration, first of all, the game was very different. Um, there was a lot of items that did not stack. Things like kegs, uh, every bit of furniture. There was also a lot less items in the game in total. Uh, so the only thing that was very hard back then was fish. Like everything else outside of the artifacts, which I was not doing when this run first started. I was not planning on doing the artifacts. Uh, the treasure troves are what changed that for me. But back then like it all seemed pretty doable and then more and more updates came out and it got harder and harder and i was just like well i'm doing it now <laughs> i'm gonna get this done i remember when 1.4 came out i like lost my mind that most craftable items could stack i was like oh no <laughs> but i added them all to the sheet and i made it work uh that's why if you look at my spreadsheet all the craftable items are in other because the other category used to only have like six things in it and now it has all the craftable items because now they stack Uh, bits RNG buff. Did I get lucky RNG? I have... We'll call it lucky RNG. Yes. But I'm very glad that you found me through YouTube, Pixel. That's awesome. I'm going to try uploading more videos. Eventually. <laughs> I'll get better at the, um... The audits at the end of the year. At the very least. They won't be so long next time, hopefully. Uh, cartless and no crobus etc earliest possible cc is fairly chill and friendly Ooh, i wonder what that would be obviously not summer too 
Um, oh, uh, Mermaid. I was talking... I went to a stream earlier today. I think her name was Rose? Uh, she was really nice, but she was attempting to get the red cabbage seed. So I told her the story about Blade attempting to get it in Skull Caverns. <laughs> Fall 8th for memory. Okay. Oh, 7th. Okay. Uh, is that for the pomegranate? Okay, so you know Rose Mermaid. That's awesome. I, um, she was trying to get the, um, red cabbage seed, so I posted Blade's emote with the red cabbage, and she asked what it was from. Uh, yeah, I think it's Rose Anessa. I just followed her today, because no one else was streaming Stardew, and I wanted to watch some at work today. During lunch. Oh, Winter Forge. Interesting. Oh yeah, I guess you can put the pomegranate in the greenhouse pretty early. Oh, right. It's the earliest you can get Winter Forge because you need the Winter Forge to make the greenhouse. Oh wait, can't you do uh, Joja? Oh. <laughs> I'm Don't listen to me, mermaid. Ignore me entirely. I am... <laughs> <laughs> that was about the dumbest thing I could have said there. <laughs> Can't you just take to do Joja to get the to finish CC? <laughs> it's so easy. Why did no one think of this? Oh, uh, no one heard anything, right? Oh no, I gotta turn that off quick before someone spams me. <laughs> no, bad. Bad. That's not the mixed. No. Um. Why are there two of them? Dude, this one, this one. There we go. <laughs> I'll go. You can't just do Joja. <laughs> why? Why has no one thought of this? We can solve our problems with capitalism. We can make the environment better by using capitalism. <laughs> it's so easy. Just pay more money to solve our problems. Razzle, welcome in. Um, ignore everything I just said in the last two minutes, please, if you heard any of it. Have you seen my farm, Onion? It's not exactly the most environmentally friendly thing. It is quicker. <laughs> exactly. You gotta wait all the way to fall to have everything completed? Gosh. I want my movie theater by summer. Sorry to hear that you couldn't nap though, Frazzle. I've been here the whole time. <laughs> you heard everything. I'm tempted by the auto petters. Oh. Onion, as you can see by my stream, it is incredibly easy to get as many auto petters as you need. The first step is you need 20,000, 200,000 staircases, 250,000 actually. Um, then you need Q seasoning for both Lucky Lunches and Ginger Ale. You need at least two Luck Rings. Um, you need a Lucky Day, and then you just use all 250,000 staircases, and you'll probably get 999 auto petters. Yeah, a couple hundred thousand jades. I mean, who doesn't have a couple hundred thousand jades just lying around? It's so easy. Kids these days, they don't know the value of a jade. The environment sucks. It calls to, or to RNG too many times. I mean, this concerns Abe's fault. Why would he make the weeds choose <laughs> matter for the rain days the, over, a, um, over a month ending? Come on now. Stupid environment. Yeah. If you're not getting at least a couple thousand jades every time you go to the mines, then you're not doing the mines right. 
perfection run, but you have to be environmentally friendly. I'm sure a lot of people have done that. <laughs> you definitely have to set up very specific rules for being environmentally friendly, though. I guess, like, environmentally friendly would be completing CC, never buying anything from Joja. Hmm. Not building any buildings? You have to. There's no way around that. I don't know. What else is environmentally friendly in this game? Day to death is fast. Do one thing at a time. <laughs> Are you referring to uh, picking up the star fruit? Uh, this is the fastest I way to do it without like pause buffering slash like using too much of my thought process to deal with it. Not deforesting the entire forest. Yeah, you need a tree like every at least every five tiles or something like that. You gotta turn your whole farm into a forest. I feel like no animal farming should be part of it, but I don't see a way you can do that and do perfection, right? Letting the soil reset, rest after every harvest. Oh my god. Onion, that sounds like the worst. No using the bus to the desert. Can you get to the desert if you can't take the bus at least once? I don't think you can get desert war totems without... War turtles? <laughs> Warp oh, totems without um, going to the desert at least once. I could be wrong about that, though. Oh, you can, Coffin. How? I'm interested. Well, uh, everyone knows except me, apparently. <laughs> By the way, date to death. Welcome in. Thank you so much for the follow. Wow, everyone's just like, Algo, are you dumb or something? <laughs> Use the seed maker to bake it. Wait, how does that work? How does that get you a desert warp totem? Oh, because you need them for the obelisk. I see. Min spending perfection right now. Oh, Argon Matrix. Well, you wouldn't get the obelisk if you're doing a min spending, would you? Well, wow. <laughs> is Argon Matrix? I've been recommended like a dozen times. I don't think I follow them, so I'm gonna do that right now. Uh, how inert is Argon Matrix? That's. Uh, I should probably put the word Twitch after that, huh? Didn't realize that was a real thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna follow Argon Matrix here. Ah! Ads are stupid. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you, you need it for the perfection anyways. Alright, that makes sense then. Oh, YouTube. Well, there, there was a Twitch. Who did I just follow? <laughs> Could be anyone. <laughs> um, hold on. Let me just mute things real quick. Oh. They play Dark Souls. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll do this after stream. <laughs> okay, so that probably was Argon Matrix. It was just not Stardew. Oh well, I unfollowed. Thus is life. <laughs> Yeah, okay, it was it was probably actually him then. I mean, it was the first thing that came up on Google after, like, Wikipedia, but... <laughs> I feel like, as someone who knows science, I probably should have recognized that Argon Matrix was a thing, but, you know, we all do our best. Alright, I'm making sure we didn't miss anything for Sunday. I don't think so. I'm gonna do as much of the uh, kegging as I can right now. Link in Discord. I mean, I'm sure I could find it on YouTube, I just... <laughs> I have to actually search in the right place is the problem. Which um, seems to be a, a reoccurring issue for me. Oh, look at this! We're starting to finally run out of starfruit. Will it happen today? No, but soon.
Ooh, that goes quick if I can do it right. I missed two kegs there. Probably worth it. I think I missed three on that one. Saves so much time though. Well, I can't do that. <laughs> Mermaid made it was for you, lol. Hold on, fine. Let's do this. Uh, where did you post it? <laughs> Not in general, is it? Uh, link in Discord. Darby talk. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. I am subscribed. Perfection. Oh wow. Like his voice already. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let's get one perfection off. Very apt um, tech streamer. Okay, very cool. I'm interested for sure. I'll have to watch some of his videos. I was mostly joking, Ducky, just because. <laughs> It perfectly said perfection before I had time to close it after I subscribed. Which I thought was kind of funny. Oh. Mermaid, it's really hard to pick up sarcasm via text. I just have to say that at least. <laughs> but fair. Probably deserved on my part, honestly. I would like to finish down here. We got it. Yes, I'm so good at this. We didn't get that far though. Perfection. <laughs> Thank you, mermaid, <laughs> for blessing us with that. Nature walk. Leah is going to take a hike. Hey, guess what day it is, everyone? It's time for me to get wrecked by Concerned Ape once again. I missed a keg. No way. <laughs> Don't worry, Green Planet, it's fine. I can miss some kegs. It happens. <laughs> I'm gonna come right back anyways. Yeah, there's two I missed right there. Not the biggest deal in the world. We've got too many kegs anyways. Did I waste my points? The world may never know. Thank you for the RNG. Good luck, Strawberry. I will certainly need it. I'm going to be so happy if I get it. <laughs> I'm trying not to get excited. Because I'm going to be more disappointed if I don't. <laughs> Thank you, Onion. Thank you, Ducky. Oh, today's the Festival of Ice. Thank you for letting me know. I very rarely go down there anyways. I don't need to because... The only um, scare the rare crow it gives you can get from um, you can get from the traveling cart in pretty high quantity, so I don't really need to go to that festival. Waste of points, but I don't want to lose five hundred more. <laughs> there you go. By blessing RNG, you're investing in your other points. We are going to play today normal. We're not going to rush over there or anything. But fishing contest. That's okay. I don't think we need to do that, Mermaid. <laughs> I, I won it a long time ago. I have my sailor hat to prove it. First try. Duck, thank you so much for the bless RNG. Let's head on over to the bus stop. Try and wrap this up. Hey, Leah's going on her hike. 
Hi, honey. Enjoy the town. Um, shouldn't you be going the other way, honey? Okay. Who's watching the children, by the way? I haven't really considered that. There's nothing dangerous on our farm outside of like 150 furnaces I have inside the house and the sharp edges on the fish tank. And like the like 60 fish ponds that are open air and probably deep deep enough for a toddler to drown in. <laughs> He's going to leave <laughs> Lewis is to divorce. You know, Lewis, I don't really want to get divorced, but he literally just spends all day kegging the wine. And you know, we've, we've made enough money to support like eight of our own lifetimes, but he keeps spending it on these weird statues. And I don't think they're a very good return of investment, if I'm going to be honest. So this is going to be my investment. I'm paying 10k to get out of this. They have been babies for 20 plus years. They'll be fine. Yeah, they're pretty experienced as children. If they haven't died yet, they're probably not going to. My 20 year old toddlers. <laughs> yeah, they're old enough to go to college. They just don't want to, you know? Yucky, welcome back. I hope you had a good, um, struggling to remember. I'm sure it was wonderful though. Wonderful and lucrative. <laughs> Statues of in this fortune are the best money per tile. Not on salad day, they're not, mermaid. Not on salad day. Although, I'm sure Leah likes salad day. Salad day is actually coming up. I'm pretty sure it's Leah's birthday. Parsnip day is also uh, not great for Statues of in this fortune. You did win the death in the volcano. I, um... I slipped and fell in the lava. It was tragic, you know. I didn't know Concerned Ape added that mechanic to the game. Or, you know, you just randomly slip. You know, remember when uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl had that? Yeah, Concerned Ape just, like, pilfered that. <laughs> slipped and fell into the lava. Unfortunate. Nothing, nothing that could have been done to prevent it. <laughs> Definitely nothing. There's no way I could have played better. Just have an eight-year return on investment. I mean, I've had eight years, so I guess some of those had uh, eight-year returns on investment. I don't sell everything, though, so it's probably like nine years. Oh, let's put these back. Yeah, so there's about 1,200 kegs. I think someone asked last time. I really don't need any more than that. <laughs> Technically, like, I've got more starfruit, obviously, but by the time I get back around to summer and I make more starfruit, I've run out, so it's not really a big deal. Oh. I gotta remember to go to the desert to buy coconuts from Sandy. Don't want to forget. Ooh, puppy. Come on, Brady. You already get in my way enough in real life. Ugly Rochet is done. You are correct. And it's not ugly. It's artistic. We'll go with. Nothing is ugly. It certainly could use a polish now and again. And you are welcome to do that at any time you wish. But <laughs> the color of row matches the roof. You are you are technically right, yes. <laughs> I don't know if that's the color match you want, but that's the color match we have.
Donkey barks so loud. Whoops, grab this. Fish eggs and jar match the roof of this cyan, magenta, and yellow house. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, quite the association, for sure. Um, don't know if it's beneficial. <laughs> to be fair, the three colors we've chosen, you know, they match most of the fish row. Maybe not magenta. Although there probably should be some magenta fish row. That seems fun. Go left. <laughs> Big sh um, oh, void salmon. Ooh, midnight carp maybe? I don't know, I have to look at them. You're probably right though. I think they're like a darker purple though. Not like a, um, like a magenta, which is much lighter, at least in my opinion. I don't know, can you have opinions about colors oh, like that? Person. Probably not. Green Teddy, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. I'm not very a very aesthetic person, so it's I'm perhaps not the best judge of those sorts of things. I mean, have you seen half my emotes? Actually, half my emotes are just things concerned Ape Drew, and I move them around slightly, so. <laughs> it's probably not the best way to <laughs> judge me there. <laughs> Mermaid, that is the most important one, obviously. Oh man, that is still my favorite by far. We're still waiting on one. I made one. I want it to be a surprise though. I'm not going to say what it is. Wow, guess what won? And no bet for the believers. Tisk, tisk, tisk. I know that everyone like makes emotes of their face and I just I'm like not interested in that personally. I think a lot of them look really cool and everything, but I don't know if I'd want to do that. I'll think about it maybe, but th these are much more fun to me. They're like inside jokes and uh puns and just some fun stuff. Wait, I'm not done. Don't worry, ducky strawberry. It's like I'm going to bed. It's 5:30. Jeez. <laughs> I could do one of like <laughs> sneakers maybe I don't know just doesn't seem very fun to me at least maybe if people really want it maybe I will just doesn't seem very interesting to me. It's something I'd be interested in doing I will pog emote. I do have an excited face sneakers emote is something I've been thinking about um I don't know how I do it because obviously sneakers himself I don't think has enough what's the word I'm looking for here like depth of color or uh, what's the word for like difference in darkness like the difference between sneakers eyes and face is like not enough to work for an emote what is that what is that name so I'd have to get one drawn so I'd have to go to like Fiverr or something like What's the name, the word for contrast? Thank you, Prozac. <laughs> I could not think of it for some reason. All right, I think we're ready to go to Ginger Island here. It was definitely contrast. That's the one I meant. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Mermaid. I'd do something like that. Shade? Shade, shade is definitely close, Teddy. And welcome to the stream. Yeah, I, I was thinking contrast, though. All right, we're going to go to the island, I believe. I just want to quickly think ah yes we gotta go here first before i forget gotta get my coconuts can't leave those there <laughs> i 
I don't know those emotes, Squirrel. I don't have the extension or whatever it is for that, but I'm sure they're very good. Do you know how to draw a squirrel? <laughs> don't put this on Onion. Onion doesn't have to do it. Onion's busy with uh, the anime drawing of all the Stardew characters, right? Oh, you're asking for a squirrel, though. Okay, I see. I thought you were still talking about the uh, sneakers drawing. Can you draw an onion? <laughs> well, I hope so. I started the line art for the anime drawing. Heck you, Ducky. Oh, wait, what did Ducky say? Here's a squirrel. IDK had to draw it. Oh, wow. Those emotes are really small on my screen. I, that looked like, look like a nothing to me at first. All right, here we go. Who's all ready for this? Ugh. <sighs> I forgot to put this away, but I'll be fine. Here's an onion. I think that's an apple. To be honest, those don't have a lot in common. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Come on, Eric. I've never asked for anything. Well, that's definitely not true. Uh, well, this one's okay, at least. We'll take this. Yep, so sorry, believers. I wanted to be on your side. I really did. At least we got a good quest. It's not those crappy ones, at least. You got it. Wait, did you just actually guess before you saw it? <laughs> That's crazy, Squirrel. What the heck? <laughs> I assumed that was, like, afterwards. I'm like, why is Squirrel just saying which quests I got out loud? <laughs> That's amazing. Alright, well, not for the, the doubters. Sorry, doubt I mean, sorry, believers, not doubters. <laughs> Alright, let's drop all this off, and then we're going to ladder down for a while. It does feel like it does, Mermaid. Is that actually something that's in the code or something? But it, do, it does feel like I get the same set a lot. What's this one? Um. Oh, I don't finish the quest, Mermaid, but I only have a week. So I don't do one. I don't do it in one day. I stop at floor ninety one. Well, actually, I stop at floor forty and reset it until I get to the end of the week. And the last day, I go beyond a hundred. So I only get it for a week, though, is the problem. That's why I like getting it because it changes my whole week. I start doing it every single day. No problem, Onion. You have a good dinner. Um, I think we'll probably still be going when you get back. I've only been going for three hours. Wow, I feel tired. <laughs> Oh, no problem, uh, Nibelin. Thank you so much for coming in and sticking around after the raid. Hope you have a wonderful day. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Up to you, obviously. <laughs> it was awesome having you here, though. I'm gonna drop on down here. Oh, no! I saw the, um... There was a, uh, um... A slime with a, an antenna. Which would have definitely given me an auto petter. Guaranteed. I get the fishing one a lot. I could stand to get it more. I've definitely got, I think there was at least one week where I got the same two quests, or three weeks, I got the same two quests three times in a row. I remember that happening once. I think it was a good one, so I wasn't like complaining. 
<laughs> but I was like, oh, this is the same two quests again and again and again. Okay, yeah, there you go, Mermaid. <laughs> you had already said that, but... Yeah, I wonder what causes that. Come here. Squirrel is living in the future. It doesn't count. That's awesome, Nibelin. Thank you. Have a great day. Fishing the current quest is in the list of pool of options for next week. Not fishing the current quest, so it isn't in the pool of options for next week. Oh, not finishing, sorry. I don't know why I'm reading that as fishing. <laughs> Oh, I see. Well, I still do need the Q gems, so... I guess if it's like a small amount, that's probably not a bad idea. But most of the time, it's probably worth it for me to get the Q gems. Stop. No, bad. Uh. Stop. And I hit the rock anyways, and it worked. I'm... <laughs> I'm confuzzled right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Prozac just talked about the fishing quest. Can you blame me that much for that? And I read another chat that says uh, finishing quest instead of... You know what, never mind. I'm not going to argue this. You're right, Mermaid. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Why am I even here? Nah, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh. Squid dodge, squid dodge. I'm so good at this game. I know exactly what direction the squids are always going, so I never get hit by them. Ooh. No one saw me almost die. It's fine. Uh, it's probably worth it to go grab that. <laughs> Take that. Oh, I've, I've talked about this at length before, Samantha. I agree with you entirely. Look at this. I walked, I walked like halfway around this and I've already got to eat two cakes. <laughs> yeah. They do so much damage. It's like a ridiculous amount of damage. They don't drop anything. Well, they do. Yeah, I do still need Solar Essence. I forgot I was doing the, um, <laughs> the quest. I totally forgot about that. I was like, oh, I'm just looking for, uh, Beach Forge. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Yeah, they just do not die, do they? It's very annoying. Not me not knowing those squids were in the game because I haven't played in those mines yet. Yeah, so this is at the very end game. Um, it's not too much... There was an antenna... An antenna slime. I just saw it. Ah, that's fine. Um, it's not too much of a spoiler to know these mines exist. But I will say that this stream is definitely going to spoil things because I'm at the very end of the game. Auto petter! Well, I'll take the pressure nozzle. That's pretty nice. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, Ginger Island is tough. I don't blame you at all, Petty. Like, even with everything set up in this run, it still took me like three years almost to finish everything with perfection that got added in 1.5 plus i needed the golden clock and alex's allegiance which was probably actually the more annoying parts of that <laughs> yeah there's some tough parts about ginger island if you're not like actively going out of your way to do them like getting all the golden walnuts can be pretty tough all right we're just gonna go I should go. 
Actually, I should have dropped down like two more floors. I forgot I was doing the quest again. Dang it. <laughs> That's all right. We'll just ladder down tomorrow. Can we have perfection that doesn't require NPCs? Just like a loner run. There should be a mod you can download that just makes the town completely empty. Like all the quests are given by like notes that are left on the ground. <laughs> just an entire ghost town you have to buy things through like a catalog <laughs> lonerville stardew when you're already tired enough to dealing with people in real life well put this in here 29 that's pretty good i have a lot more than that they're just currently in use <laughs> It's crazy that I've gotten so many more enrichers and I've gotten pressure nozzles. I've got like a, a hundred pressure nozzles in use right now. So I've definitely got like bought most of them. And I still have more. Well, I did buy a lot of them. That's right. All right. Hold on. Lots of chat here. Hold on. <laughs> so you can get a quest while you have the mindset to hard mode. What do you mean by that, Strawberry? I might be misunderstanding. Uh, can we have perfection? Doesn't require NPCs. I would legit pay, pay piano money. Well, that is actually hard to say. <laughs> would legit pay piano money to do my Simon Says Challenge every perfection run so I don't have to do it myself. You know what? That is totally fair. It took me like five tries. It was like all day. Because I didn't know the uh, the trick where you could eat food to pause time. <laughs> it was like midnight and I'm like, I have to get this or I'm spending an entire another day doing this. Uh, totally agree. I have a couple hundred hours in Stardew, but I haven't played too much since the big update. So I haven't finished it yet. I played a lot since the big update, but <laughs> yeah, totally understand. Yeah, my sister is uh, working through perfection right now. She's been playing pretty infrequently like once in a while and i keep like giving her these hints about what's coming next and she loves it she's like she's there's ostriches in this game oh my god she gets all excited sometimes she has really, a lot of trouble with the mines because she doesn't play she hasn't played like any combat oriented games ever before <laughs> yes you can get the mines quest while it's already on hard mode oh yes that's what you're asking strawberry absolutely it just resets the elevator Uh, since he is good with music stuff and he just remembers it oh he knows the notes oh my gosh that's incredible yeah i have a friend who's also good with music stuff like that i am um uh, well my friend tested me the same friend i was talking about and apparently i'm not tone death but i think i am with the way i sing i think tone death has two meanings though the one where you're like actually incapable of telling different tones apart and the one where you're just bad at singing like i am <laughs> It's a good quest to get uh, to Prozac. I'm sorry, uh, Strawberry. It's worth 50 Q gems. It's um, tied for first outside of the particular one I won't do, which is the Q gem one. Because I mean the Q fruit one because it takes too much time out of my busy days. Oh, Onion's not here to do the prediction. I was wondering why it wasn't even mentioned. You can all predict with your hearts. If you want to, or whatever. Tied? <laughs> well, I'm ignoring the uh, Q Fruit quest. I think there's two 50s, right? Fifty equals one hundred. I said, ignoring the Kufu quest. It's tied for me. Give me. 
There we go. Only 150. Okay, lots of 40s. I might get confused with that. I thought Skull Cavern Invasion was also 50. I know I worked out the math on the weighted average for the ones I would prefer to take, assuming it's completely random, which it doesn't seem like it is. And it worked out to like 37 and a half if I ignore the uh, Cubine quest and the 37 and a half per week, like per quest, basically. If I ignore the Cubine quest and the Junimo one. I just never take those. My voice, my gosh, apologies. <laughs> Hopefully that'll come back in a second. That sounds better. One second. You all are so glad you didn't have to hear that. <laughs> Ooh. I'm gonna try and get to Thursday. We'll see if we can do that. So we got two days to work through here. Because Saturday is going to be a little bit of a different stream. I'm doing fine. Uh, Squirrel, you weren't here when I said it earlier on in the stream. I was talking very loud a lot today because I was doing notes and the classes were very talkative. So I had to kind of like talk over them to get them to quiet down. Uh, so my voice is just a little bit shot is all not sick or anything i'm not even congested it's just my voice is <laughs> running out that's probably the best way to put it all right it's time for gem talk though so all of you can talk instead of me for a little bit <laughs> i'll probably also talk uh what fictional world would you like to visit for only a day so any fictional world any universe oh i should get tea ah i don't have any decaf tea is the problem I can do a Lajans. Lajans. Oh no. You found another word. Strawberry. Oh no, that was Prozac. What fictional world would you like to visit for a day? Only a day. So, Onion, did you hear it? Hmm. I was thinking about this one kind of since I put it on the list. We did that one, but real life. Yeah, I guess so. And so it wouldn't be a fictional place, would it? <laughs> Pan Am. Lajinj. Oh my goodness, I can't do it. <laughs> I'm blaming my throat on this one. With no permanent lasting effects. Like if you die, we'll say you're immune to everything for the day. Um, but you can't influence events. Eh, I don't know. No, you can't go anywhere you would die. Okay, it's up to you. Fine. Either you're invincible, but you can't influence anything. Or you are... Vincible, but you have to... You're invincible and you can do whatever you want. MCU. Interesting, Teddy. Assuming you would be like a hero, I think. <laughs> I want to visit Pixie Hollow for the books. Ooh, what books are those, Strawberry? Pixie Hollow. I don't know if I recognize that. I want to go to Wonderland. Ooh, BNHA. Big fan of superheroes, I see, Teddy. Yeah. Having superpowers would be pretty interesting. I feel like both those worlds are pretty scary, though. <laughs> like, they're all kind of happy on the surface, but just the idea of having, like, superpowered individuals that could, like, snap at any time is kind of scary. At least with, um, Hero Academia, it's like everyone, most people have powers, so you have some defenses yourself. With, like, MCU, it's like, yeah, that person over there might be, like, mutated and be able to kill me with a thought. Don't really want to think about that. <laughs> that was an unintentional pun, but I liked it. Hogwarts and then burn it down. Oh. I feel really bad about that. Ugh. Poor Hogwarts. I guess not, but you know. Your Stardew World. I would want. I would want to watch you do this as a bystander. <laughs> I would purposely hit you with a slingshot, Ducky. 
being able to watch that stuff go down would be super cool. Just don't get too close, huh? Any scarier than here? Yes, I think it's a little scarier than here. Uh, there was an entire city that got completely eradicated, pretty much, during uh, Age of Ultron. That was pretty awful. Alright. <laughs> I also have um, pretty strong opinions on that, uh, Mermaid. <laughs> but, um... If you want to see my opinions, they're pretty much mirror, uh, mirrored by uh, Sarah Zed and um, ContraPoints. So if you've seen either of their videos on that, that's pretty close to my opinion. Don't really want to spend too much time wasted on that, though. Mm. Ooh, uh, Percy Jackson series, Onion. Definitely, definitely didn't ignore you. <laughs> You always have to type twice. For some reason, my eyes just glance. I have no idea why I'm doing this. My brain is trained the wrong way. Ooh, how to drain your dragon. Oh, man. That would be awesome. Oh, yeah. Like, especially, like, the beginning of the second movie area. I don't want to be in the Percy world. I would die immediately to a Cyclops. Yeah, you know. It's scary in there. I don't know. It's, like, it's pretty fun, though. <laughs> Let's be honest, everyone as a kid imagined themselves being a half-blood. That was that was the thing to do. <laughs> I definitely did it. It's like, if I was a half-blood, whose son would I be? I think I was like, I dreamed so small. I was like, oh, I'd be like Hephaestus' son. <laughs> or, uh... <laughs> I was like, no, I wouldn't be a big, big three. I'd just be some dude. <laughs> Pixie Hollow is where Tinkle Tinkerbell's from. I have the main trilogy that's just a fun read. Okay, that's really cool. I've never actually read uh, Peter Pan, the books. I've seen the movie. And I know the story in general. I mean the animated movie. I don't think I've seen the one with, um... Ah, oh, what's his name? Uh, Aladdin Genie. I can't remember. Uh, someone will tell me before I can think of it, so that's fine. It's almost not funny anymore how much you ignore me. I saw that one. Probably because you're being mean to me. Hook is the name of the movie. I'm thinking. I'm trying to think of the actor. <laughs> Yoba, who's Yo? What's Yoba got to do with this? Yes, Robin Williams. There we go, Robin Williams. I knew. I knew the name was Hook. All right, I would have been able to pull it out. I was just trying to think of Robin Williams' name. I think I'd rather stay here because those fictional worlds are. <laughs> Yeah, I guess getting isekai is typically shown as not that great of a thing, usually. Well, anime is. <laughs> the soundtrack for Hook is beautiful? Interesting. I Like I said, I haven't seen it before. Uh, the Every Heart a Doorway Universe by... Is that Seanan McGuire? Is that how you pronounce that? <laughs> Sorry, Seanan. It's really fun. They're all kids who went to a different version of Wonderland. Alright, long comment. I'll get back here. <laughs> Different version of Wonderland that they purposefully needed and they got split out in our boarding schools trying to adjust to life while waiting to see if their doorway opens again. Ooh. Kind of interesting. It reminds me of um, Chronicles of Narnia a little bit. Although it seems like this personal Wonderland was probably more um, friendly to them, in my best guess. We got our fossilized tail and we get a second one too. Just kidding. That's a single gold ore? I didn't even think such luck was possible. You you scare me. What did I do, Squirrel? Because I didn't know Rod Robin Williams' name. I just couldn't think of it. If I took enough time, I would have been able to get it. But I was just like, by the time I actually think of it, chat will have already answered for me. <laughs> I know who he is. I love his I love his acting and like everything he's in. I just couldn't think of the name. Oh, that's not how we do this. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> Thank you, Onion. I almost did it myself. 
let's see here one of them is a candy lane type world one of them is in the moors with dracula and dr frankenstein one of them is in the halls of hades Ooh, yeah that does sound that's just like the writer is just like i really want to write about all these cool places <laughs> so i'm going to design a story around it that's a really cool idea though also very queer that's awesome uh i have not read the full Narnia series but i do have a box set right here i probably should read it at some point because they are very short oh we can make the screen big so uh it's a little dusty <laughs> it's been on my shelf for a while but it's really pretty It was gifted to me by a friend when I was having my reading craze and I just didn't get around to those. Oh, you have the same one, Samantha. That's awesome. Yeah, like I said, actually, uh, RC Hockey is the one who gifted to me. He was in here earlier, just chatting. Of course, if he's lurking right now, he might disagree with my use of the word gifted. <laughs> I think it was more like he forgot. I mentioned it to him later and he was just like, keep them. <laughs> oh, we could do Narnia. That actually would be not a bad choice, I think. We'll probably vote on the next one once we're done with the Percy Jackson series. We'll have a vote. Oh, Goldie Mart, thank you so much. Welcome into the chat. I'm glad you're loving the energy. Um, right now I'm very tired, so it's possibly even more energetic when I'm not. Although I think I'm getting to that state where I'm like so tired I'm not tired sort of thing. Like I have more energy than I should. <laughs> we'll see how it goes here. We're going to try and finish up two more days. Ooh, very old copies. That's really cool. My dad gave me his copy of... Was it Brave New World or... Oh, Dune. It was uh, Dune, and it was so old, like, I couldn't even read the text. <laughs> but I listened to the audiobook instead. <laughs> I like book one of the series. Is this for uh, Narnia? Yeah, I haven't read any of them yet. Okay, we have to turn on my fan. One second. <laughs> it's getting warm in this room. How'd that happen? Just keep it on the one. Hopefully that's not too loud on the microphone. This microphone likes to pick up everything, even though it has a noise gate. All right, let's see here. Tuesday, we did Gem Talk, we did that. Oh, Heroes Olympus? All right, we, we'll vote on it, I think, but uh, that seems like probably a front runner. I don't think we're going to go through uh, Rick's entire anthology. I feel like that would be for the rest of my streaming days. <laughs> it's quite a long thing. Still can't believe it oh, wasn't Skull Cavern. Yeah, I know, right? Gosh. Uh, let's see. Goldie Mort, thank you so much for the follow. Oh, is that supposed to be like a pun based on uh, Voldemort? <laughs> if not, please correct me on how to say it. I will gladly correct it, but um, hold on. Right, we're gonna we're gonna do this I think oh yeah his books are definitely good but I'm just like thinking you know if we're gonna be doing a book club we should probably do more books oh it means gave hold more <laughs> I like it that's interesting okay hold on my socks are not having a good time right now I'm just gonna take them off they're a little too tight. I might have to get rid of these socks. I'm just now realizing I don't think blood is getting to my foot. It's... That's how you say feet when you're, uh... <laughs> so what I'm looking for? Stupid? <laughs> All right, we're going here first. Oh man, I cooled down like five degrees when I got those socks off. Oh, we're going in here. 
Algo. <laughs> what did I do? Oh, when you're Algo. Okay, I see. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when I stream, I don't take off my work clothes is the thing. But I'm still in what I wore to work today. Of course, on Saturday, I wear my PJs. Um... Onion, why do you have the strangest requests? What am I going to do with a wall scone? Is it like an onion wall scone? Alright, fine. We got the money. Oh, I haven't checked this in a while. I wonder what this is like. Probably hasn't changed all that much. Okay, there's a lot of people who are team scone. Is it a perch? What's going on? Decorate your house? Oh, I missed it. I guess we can't have it. No, <laughs> I'll go grab it. Uh, This is just a circle. This is just a circle. They don't even stack. What's the point? All right, fine. What does decorate mean? All right, we're going to decorate, and you're going to see why I don't decorate. Uh, this can go here, and this can go, go above the dresser. Actually, let's put them both above the dresser so they look really dumb. Looks great. It looks like the dresser has eyes. If you open it up, it's like opening its mouth. <laughs> hey Lily, hey Hasao. Everyone made me clean make things look nice, I guess. Stunning. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Here we see the Algo in his natural habitat. Decorating his house. Unfortunately, he has no sense of style or basic understanding of how things are laid out. And as a result, his decoration looks awful. I don't know. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Go full Attenborough? That is yet to be seen, Prozac. I don't think that's <laughs> accurate, to be honest with you. That is probably not accurate at all. Jedi, welcome in. Just in time here. We're going to the mines. We're going to get seven galaxy souls, three auto petters, and 150 Q gems. The statues have left the sewers. We have entered the realm of the woods. And another thing I have to be careful about on festival days. <laughs> uh, that seems like something I'm going to mess up at some point. All right. Let's go get some galaxy souls. Oh, never mind. I forgot about this part. Uh, we're not getting galaxy souls. We have to go down. Oh, dang it. I wasted my monster musk. Why don't I think... Look at how many there are. Gonna die. There's too many squids. Those statues are an invasive species. They're not harming the environment. They're enhancing the environment. They're not like Australian bunnies or anything. I mean, well, you know, British bunnies that became Australian. <laughs> Should be illegal. For now. <laughs> Ew, that sounds kinky. What? I don't know about that one, squirrel. Might be misreading a few things there. <laughs> I'm referring to um, the uh, bunny outbreak in Australia that caused like massive damage to the uh, local wildlife and uh, fauna, if I remember correctly. I taught about it in school because it's about an invasive species. Whoop. Which uh, you should all be aware of since you live down there. I went back to this ladder because I remembered it, but it wasn't probably the best ladder to go to. I hear it and I hate it. Putting statues in the woods? Yep, strawberry. We got five today and we put them in. They all went in the woods because we finished up the, um, the one yesterday. Not yesterday, last stream. <laughs> My brain did not go to that interpretation until you said it. How is that kinky? What, what am I missing here? What did I say? 
<laughs> was it about the British invading rabbits? <laughs> I don't even remember what I said now. Uh, do you also teach about the feral camel population? Uh, I don't think that one came up. So the rabbit one's a really good example because there's a lot of ways that Australian government tried to like manage it and they all failed terribly. <laughs> it's always fun to talk about failures like that to show like we're not really in control of nature as much as you would think we are. Uh, the emo, the em, emo, <laughs> the emo war, the emo, <laughs> emu war was also another good example of that. <laughs> Not to uh, bring up national embarrassments or anything, squirrel. The emo war. <laughs> Don't think I'm going to live that one down. Oh no, oh no, I am... Get out. Woo! I don't think I would have been able to eat in time. I could care less about Australia. Oh no, oh no, did I... <laughs> I mixed you two up again, didn't I? I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, y'all are friends, right? It's not like you despise each other look at this this lineup this is quite the uh okay, look at that Ooh, i can put that on my wall y'all are friends right you're like just a hop a skip in a pond away right or something like that i don't know is that what they say over there <laughs> just just feel happy i didn't attempt an australian accent that would have been embarrassing Inventory full. I would throw a rock across a ditch if I know it hit Prosex win. <laughs> I like that. That's great. Why a ditch, though? That seems unnecessarily cruel. Whoops. Stop dying. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, Frazzle. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I appreciate the support of the stream by watching ads, but I apologize for it waking you up. <laughs> Oh, the ditch is the colloquial term for the sea between New Zealand and Australia. That's a cool name. I like that. It feels appropriate, I think. I'm getting a lot of enemies today. Like, I know I have monster... Dang it. I know I have monster musk and everything, but it seems even more than normal. How many enemy kills do I have? I actually just checked. Um, if you go back in the VOD, maybe like a few minutes, when I was at the casino, I looked through the stats. I didn't remember what it was, though. It's certainly a lot. Now it's two, now it's seven, now it's ten. Well, minus one. Oh, let's see here. Hey, did you know you can get red, get red of ads for free? with Twitch Prime subscription. Am I doing this right? No, and you're not. It's rid. No. <laughs> what is a Twitch Prime subscription? Is that like one of those things the children use to subscribe to channels for free once per month? And the only thing you're doing is ripping money out of Jeff Bezos wallet and putting it in mine? Now, I've never heard of such a wonderful thing. Uh, 
see. Oh, is it on there? Yes, yes, there is a total enemies killed on there. I'm pretty sure. I recall it. Uh, so you can get a pretty good estimate if you go on to, um, what's it called on my Discord? Uh, 999 challenge info. There's a picture of what it was a year ago. So I haven't killed... I can't imagine I've killed that much over the last year. I mean, I've killed a lot. <laughs> I've had quite the murder frenzy. Dang it. Try to get it killed. Or someone could give me a sub. <laughs> we'll see, Frazzle. <laughs> uh, was wondering more specifics, dust sprites, for examples. Oh, uh, you can check that too. Yep. Um, in fact, I really hate skipping these floors. Okay. I can check it right now. <laughs> We got a lot of talking going on all of a sudden. Hold on one second. Let's get to this before um, we can read them all. Let's see. 10,000 bats. 9,000 skeletons. 25,000 cave insects. 258 duggies. 20,000 dust sprites. 20,000 slimes. Well, 22,000. Who's counting? 420 rock crabs. Nice, I think. Uh, 1,600 mummies, 1,700 pepper rex, 3,400 serpents, and almost 900 mag magma sprites. I don't know why I had so much trouble reading that. <laughs> All right, what are we talking about knees for? One second. <laughs> Algo, you of all people cannot shame me for misspelling. How could you do such a thing? How about we just go rob Jeff Bezos in the first place? I imagine he has security. <laughs> Having Twitch Prime involves giving <laughs> Bezos money. That is true. <laughs> but you can give some of it back to me. <laughs> Let's kill Team Jeff. Bro, like we can steal his knees? I don't know if you should talk about um, <laughs> guillotining Twitch's boss on Twitch's site. That seems possibly not allowed. But who's going to stop you? It won't be me. Oops. Come on. I can wear his knees as a hat. I think this is getting a little advanced. Maybe we should dial it back a few steps. Who could have known? My gotcha game is having a ReZero collaboration event. Meh. I liked ReZero. I suppose I still like it. I don't know when the next installment of it's coming out. I don't know. One thing I really love about it is it's certainly an adaptation that got a lot of love. Like the animation, you can tell that they really cared about it when they made it. Like every episode is 30 minutes. <laughs> they skip the intro almost every single episode to get as much animation as they can in. Oh, he's not even CEO anymore. Well, he's on the board. That's pretty much the same thing, right? Need 999 sprites. I'll probably get there pretty quick. Wait, dust sprites? I already ha Oh, magma sprites. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm not, probably not that far away from that. I'm going to have to finish this quest. Whoops. Hmm. How many uh, Omnis are we going to get today? He can come fight me, I'll be in the parking lot. I don't know if he takes dual requests. That seems beneath him. He'd probably be willing to fly out to Australia, though. <laughs> dual Jeff Bezos. Not a command, unfortunately, but um, that could change.
had a dual command right now. What would be the result? What What is the expected output of that command, precisely? Just like a big like you win notification, <laughs> or just like pick a random time in the future to set the duel for. Mermaid! Oh man, 1 a.m. Oh boy, 1 a.m. All right, Mermaid, you have a great night. I hope you get some good sleep, and hopefully I'll see you on Saturday. We're gonna be um, probably doing the unfortunate figuring out where all the NPCs are for the tea set on Saturday. Random generator on win or lose. Yeah, but if it's like 50-50, that's so boring, right? It's just like a just like flipping a coin. You gotta put more pizzazz into your commands, right? Like call a Python script that checks like your entire life records and see who's better overall. <laughs> I don't know if I could should create code that determines who's better. That seems like a bad idea overall. It is pretty easy to get information about people though. Don't prove, don't take away our privacy. Don't deprive us of our chatter P VP. Okay. I will consider your request. Is this how we duel with nine nine nines and butt meat? I know not with what weapons World War Three will be fought with. Hey, World War Four will be fought with. Oh no! Dang it. I'm saying it wrong. I know not what weapons World War Three will be fought with, but World War Four will be fought with stacks and butt meat. There we go. I ruined it, but you know, I got there. Am I missing something? Butt meat nine nine nine. Butt meat. Butt meat. Butt meat. Butt meat nine nine nine. Ooh, emote <laughs> rock paper scissors. I feel like you could just wait until they post it and then post the other one though, right? <laughs> I feel like this, the delay is probably not enough to <laughs> deal with that. And which which emote beats which other emote? That's a question you gotta think about with that. Is it Sebastian's birthday? Eh. You know, I do love some Sebi, but he is in his room most of his day. That's quite a hike from anything I normally am doing. Alright, get our energy back. Wednesday, my dudes. Let's go to the island, I guess. Come on, it's right by the mines. What if I'm not going to the mines, huh, Strawberry? Huh? Huh? <laughs> I can be doing anything. I can do anything I want. It's my game. <laughs> Sorry. That was a joke, obviously. I'm not trying to be aggressive. <laughs> Alright, maybe we'll find Sebi. It depends where Sebi is. I can give him a rock. I think Sebi likes Ginger. Doesn't really seem like his style. Some of the birthday gifts you give in this game, it's just like... Like, imagine if you came up to someone on their birthday and you handed them a, just a single piece of ginger. Like, here, enjoy this. Like, not even wrapped or anything. It's just ginger. Like, a whole thing. <laughs> I guess you're the farmer, so maybe that makes a little bit more sense. He's such a contrarian. I mean, some people like that. Like, imagine you go up to Alex on his birthday. You just, like, hand him an entire plate of, like, bacon, eggs, hash browns, um, whatever else is on that whole plate. <laughs> and he's just like, this is the greatest gift I've ever received in my life. You made me breakfast at 8 p.m. Oh, onion. Wait, what happened? There's a, there's a poll for butt meat. Wow, this is, um... This is an advanced poll. The butt meat's a good breakfast. Um, I have to go for the OG, you know? 
OG butt meat. That's what it's all about here. Not to influence the poll or anything, which I guess I already did. I'm not telling you what you should vote for. I'm just telling you that if you don't vote for what I picked, you're going to be banned. Contrarian. It's an avocado, thanks. <laughs> I'd be stoked if I could pick. Imagine if someone you just didn't know, Prozac, on your birthday, just like crawled up to you, like like near the middle of the night as you're on your way home, it's just like holds out an avocado for you and then just walks away. You know what? Actually that sounds magical. Never mind. I think you're right. <laughs> It'd be cool if you could choose your own love gifts. I've thought about that before for this game. Like, you have a birthday and you get to choose, like, what your own love gifts are. You don't have, like, an exhaustive list, but I could choose tea sets and then I would be done with this run earlier. <laughs> so, Concern Day, basically what I'm saying is, do that. That sounds awesome. <laughs> but then I'm just wondering, like... What if you got like the same gift from everyone in town? So you're all, you're ten hearts with everyone. Everyone loves you, right? And then like your favorite thing is like wine, and then suddenly you get like thirty wine in the mail. <laughs> that just seems really interesting. Oh, thanks. Thank you for tea set. Oh, thanks. <laughs> like that, Prozac? <laughs> Am I doing the bull stare right? Alright, we're gonna go to the mines because we gotta finish this quest. <laughs> you accidentally put the laughing emoji instead of the bull stare one. That's pretty good. My love gift would be butt meat. You know, I like that. You're reaching, you're reaching really high, you know? Hey, it's my favorite bomb floor. Bye, favorite bomb floor. Oops, bad. Kind of abusable for speed runs or challenge runs, but it could be easily solved with limiting what you can choose. Yeah, I was thinking like you have to have like eight hearts with people for them to give you a gift. I don't know. It's just weird that you give everyone something on your birthday, on their birthday, and you don't get diddly squat. I mean, you don't even have a birthday. You didn't even know when you were born. <laughs> Maybe that's why I can keep playing for 25 years and not age. Maybe I don't have a birthday. Strawberries, green tea, and void. The, the thing that made me think of it is that, oh, the haunted skull. You know what? This one's going to give me rock candy and I'm going to be very happy. Oh, it's actually not that far away. <laughs> The thing that made me think of that idea was that um, sometimes people like post pictures of their farmer and like say what their love gifts are and everything. They make it look like the portraits like this one here, sort of online. They like have their own farmer, like when their birthday is, what their love gifts are, things like that. So that's what made me think of it is to be like, it'd be really cool if you could choose your own like love and like gifts. Number three would be your birthday. That's fair. Um, IRL, mine's at the end of summer, so I guess mine would be, like, summer 26th. Some random number like that. <laughs> Actually, it's not the end of summer. It's at the end of July. That's not technically the end of summer. I don't like these floors in the harder mines very much. You can't really get much here outside of pain, but I can get that anywhere. Pain is cheap. Cheese, potato, and sunflower for love gifts. Are you like basing these on your IRL love gifts or the things that you like in Stardew? I do like potatoes. 
Cannot deny that. Cheesy potatoes are also extremely good. Down we go. Oh, no. Sorry, grass. IRL love gifts. Yeah, those are, uh, those are good combinations, actually. Well, I don't think I usually put my sunflowers in my food, but oh. Can you not blind me, fam? Okay, there wasn't even... <laughs> Did anyone see those crabs? Wait, wait. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> they, like, freaked out. <laughs> they weren't bouncing. They were, like, stuck, like, vibrating. <laughs> I clipped it, so maybe I'll look at that later. I clipped it on my Streamlabs. Not on Twitch, though. <laughs> this crab's just like vibrated. <laughs> Lava bats, don't hurt me. No more. Hey, we're down at the bottom. Alright, I'm gonna go back first. I need to recuperate out of my farm. Lavender is a good one. Lavender is the um, the oil I put in my diffuser. I think it's like my favorite smelling one. The other ones are okay, but lavender is just like, ooh. <laughs> what was that noise? Yes, lavender, the thing that makes me go, yes. <laughs> Sorry, you all had to hear that. I don't know if I have a favorite flower, though, in terms of looks. Violets are really pretty, I guess. Went to a lavender farm earlier this year and it was delightful. Oh man, that must have smell smelled so good. Ooh, what are some lavender foods, Prozac? I can't think of anything. I've, I've seen, like, lavender honey before. Sunflowers are amazing, apparently. I've never had, like, a strong affinity for sunflowers. They always feel, like, too big. <laughs> Maybe that's just a me thing, though. Let me try and adjust my seating so I don't feel so... Lavender scones, lavender and honey ice cream. I've had the ice cream before. I admit it was very good. Lavender lemonade. I'm not a fan of lemonade, so that would be a hard sell on me. Alright, we're gonna do... I don't know what I want to do for the rest of the day today. <laughs> Chat, tell me what to do. Ice cream in general is pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah, with honey though, yeah, that must be crazy. I'm not scared of lemons, I just don't like the flavor at all. I like Sprite, which I don't know if that's a thing outside of America, but that's the only pop I've ever liked. I only rarely have it now. I've pretty much given up on, um, given up on pop other than like occasionally I'll have a Sprite when I'm at a restaurant and that's it. The ice cream is sweet but good. Not a fan of lemonade. Yeah, I'm leaving and never coming back. You can like lemonade all you want. I just don't like how it tastes. Uh, I guess we're spinning, huh? All right, squirrel. We'll get a spin or two in. Um, I guess we go full screen. Oh, I want to use this other chair. I forgot about this because this one spins like crazy. Yes, I do. Just have two black chairs. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm gonna get sick, aren't I? If I lean back, it's not so bad. We... We're gonna go until we stop. I am very dizzy. And this chair sucks. Okay. Gotta switch back. <laughs> this chair has like a very hard bottom. It spins more though. I 
Uh, yes, I did fix the spelling on the whiteboard. You know, just kind of got to insert that T in there right there. <laughs> it's the best way I could do it, okay? Don't judge me. All right. Um, I mean, I guess you could judge me. I guess we're bombing the mines because only one person said that. CA, add lemons to start you. No, CA, you know, it's okay. You don't need lemons in your game. Can't even imagine having to get more trees at this point. Screw everything about that. <laughs> I will judge you for everything ever. Well, you're going to have a long time doing that. There's a lot of things you can judge me for. <laughs> have fun. It's going to be a while. Die, please. I'm not out. I'm not also a part of the please don't add anything else game. Now. Okay, I see. Health check. My health is fine. I've got 77 health points. Ignore the red. It's lying. I'll eat a cake for you. But not sap. Oh no, we have to go find that stick bug. That does not sound enjoyable at all. All right, you're right here. Hey, I actually found it. Four. I mean, it's no nine, but. Okay, I'll, I'll be okay if he adds more to Stardew as long as he makes certain not the stack. No, no, he's totally fine adding whatever he wants to start you. you. The game should not change for my benefit. Should change for the benefit of everyone. It would be the run would be kind of dumb, you know, if concerned date made things easier for me, you know. The whole idea is that it's a challenge run. I finally encountered the stick bug glitch and we we're not able to find it. It's simple physics, Prozac. You just have to look at where you place the bomb and then look at the angle of approach and the distance from the bomb and that will tell you how far the stick bug gets knocked away. <laughs> Please don't take that seriously. That was in no way serious. I just guessed. I just kept running and it kept working out. Ooh, that spider probably should have killed me. It did 20. Yeah, that would have killed me. I think I'm so quick on my trigger finger. Did that bat really not die? What a fool. All items are now non stackable. I don't know if that would be a great update for everyone. <laughs> Imagine if Algo gets to your 70 in game and then CA decides to make T sets not stackable anymore. I mean, I still need to go to year 1000, as Onion is saying there, for everything else. Honestly, the owl statues, that would be the one I would very much like to be non stackable <laughs> because. It's not really possible for me to get a stack of those based on um, my light math that I've done. I'd have to do a lot of sleeping, let's say that. <laughs> not possible, <laughs> says the coward. I'll make it work. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, 
Selic Studio, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Awesome to have you here. I will warn you, we're probably going to be ending stream in just a few minutes here. As soon as today is over, I think. I have been pretty tired since about three hours ago. And I'm <laughs> thinking I want to get some food in me. Strength capsule stackable. They are stackable, but it's not possible to get any more of them. Yeah, they're still stackable. But you can't get any more than one, one per file now. Okay, um, these enemies are being mean today. Anyone else notice this? Taking a lot of damage. Got another stick bug though. I use predictors for my run and I'm getting Marnie. Oh, I'm nauseated. Sorry, where was that? I use predictions for my run. I'm getting Marnie for Winter Star Year 3 and 5. Oof. Remember when staircases weren't stackable? I didn't want to go back. I don't want to go back. Yes. Uh, you would keep it as stone, but still, you could not carry like a whole stack. At least not easily. Okay, fair. I noticed the same thing with the chicken stack. She was stackable in Smappy, but not possible to get more than one of them in the museum without multiplayer. Yeah, so that's the thing. I have multiplayer banned for this run. Well, I'm not using multiplayer. I'm not using predictors. And yeah, just a certain number of items don't stack. Look at all these bats. Where did you all come from? Seriously. Um, so there definitely was a stick bug, right? There it is. One Q gem? Sad. Uh, get rid of the, eh, I kinda like the emerald. Guess we'll get rid of the, um, frozen geodes. All the way down to 277 gold. Spend that money to make that money. Alright, down to floor. What was it now? 55? No. Oh my god. I would love that so much. That would just be fun. They don't do that much damage, and they're kind of fun to kill. <laughs> I would just love a room full of stick bugs. I kind of want to like spawn that in using Smappy or something. I've been saying Snappy, haven't I? And it's definitely Smappy. Just know that I'm a fool. Of course, most of you do that already and you're still here, so thank you for that. Dude, what is up with this guy? He's all over me today. Onion will remind me. Do stick bugs drop anything awesome? Why do you always make sure to kill them? They drop Q gems. Apparently one to nine. I don't know how I got nine. I think that might have been a bug, which, you know, it's a stick bug. But yeah, I got nine from one at one point. Uh, but they tend to drop like one to five normally. I think there might be a chance for it to double. I don't know. But yeah, they always drop Q gems, which makes them pretty nice. Uh, the only fool we want. Oh, thank you, squirrel. I I guess I'll accept that as a compliment. <laughs> What's this image you guys have of me? I'm so kind and nice. Well, I think you kind of uh, did that yourself, Onion, by being kind and nice. If you'd like people to have a different image of you, you might have to act differently. <laughs> okay, let's throw this in here, this in here. I got 111 cave carrots today. Like, 
it's not good or anything, but it's impressive. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Let's go to sleep. So, on Saturday, when I come back for stream, uh, I'm definitely going to part 69. Onion, stop making such nice pulls. Alright. On Saturday, when I come back, so we're ending stream here. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> I'm tired. And actually, we're, we went to normal time, didn't we? I guess we can't be that upset about that. You all are greedy, no. Um, we're going to be doing a stream where we're going to be filling out a spreadsheet. So we're doing some spreadsheet stardew. Um, we're going to be figuring out where all the NPC pathing, I hope, and figuring out like what's going to be best for T-Set and everything. Uh, so we will be doing that tomorrow. Let's go ahead and exit the title so we've got something here to end on. Okay. So thank you guys all for being here today. Um, we're going to probably go raid someone. Let me go see who's available really quick. Put this up and pull this out. So it's so awesome to have everyone here today. We got raided by Haboo again. That is insane. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what to say at this point. You guys are all awesome. Honestly. Every single one of you. Onion, like, you're two tenths of awesome. You're getting there, though. Uh, it's been really fun doing the streaming thing, and I'm glad you've all been here for it so far. Um, let's see here. Oh, man. I'm spoiled for choice. What is this? Okay. Um, who have I not read it in a while? I think... I mean... Um, oh, okay. 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 Yeah, this this is this is what this is gonna be. All right, <laughs> let's see here. We're definitely not running an ad. Here's the raid channel button. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We are gonna raid Lee, a twenty-something loser. Uh, she's currently cosplaying as Robin, and she looks awesome, <laughs> and she's great. Okay, uh, she's doing a speed run right now. I don't know which speed run because it doesn't say in her title, uh, but she's awesome all the time. I haven't raided her in a while. And so we're going to head on over there. Uh, let's see here. Oh, Shelby, I'm sorry. <laughs> Welcome in, Shelby. All right. So let's see here. Let's let's go down the line up here. Bye, Frazzle. Bye, Strawberry. Bye, Prozac. Bye, Chunky. Um, bye, Squirrel. Bye, Onion. That's Chunky again. Bye, Joy. Uh, let's see. Bye, Shelby. I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, if you want to copy a raid message, that's awesome. You don't have to if you don't want to, though. Bye, Samantha. So again, thank you all for being here. I'm doing hand motions right now, but now that you can see me, uh, just know that I'm excited and <laughs> very glad that you all keep coming back. I don't know why, but um, <laughs> check out, uh, <laughs> let's go check out Lee and everyone send her you love, okay? All right, I'll see you again on Saturday. This is the only downside. Robin doesn't leave her house, ever. So if you harvest on Mondays and Wednesdays, I think we should be able to go out. Uh, you should also be able to go out in, on Saturdays to get extra peaches. Love that. Algorithm! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Welcome on in, gamers. Hello, hello, hello! Hi, Raiders. Welcome, welcome. Um, I'm in Robin cosplay right now, so I don't... I don't look like I normally look. Um, <laughs> but welcome on in. My name is Lee. My pronouns are she, her. I play a lot of Stardew Valley here. Uh, and I'm currently in a... Um, oh, shit. Uh, in a race.